<laughs> Are you ready? What? <laughs> hey hey andy where are you at tonight it's you know it's, you haven't done this in a while so it's good that you're away I, I, it's nice to have you away for a while <laughs> nice that you got the place yourself you excited about that exactly. stretch out i don't have to cramp myself next to you it's very nice anyway where uh, are you uh i am in beautiful downtown st augustine florida Ooh, which did is, you go to st augustine uh, Distillery? Uh, yeah, I, I did get a chance to pop in. Um, mm -hmm. I enjoy coming there just because they've got some cool stuff. The Saints is one of the ones that we were. Yes, which is awesome. bad. Did you try uh, that? Yeah, I went in and had a couple little samples. A couple little samples. All right, very good. good. Very yeah, good. good. But the weather's gorgeous down here. People, yep. I, sometimes I wonder, like, hmm, mm -hmm. really? Maryland, Baltimore? Should we oh, I, I, I think about it all the time, believe we me, especially in. Enjoying this weather all the time. So, down. cheers, everybody in the chat. It's a Patreon panel. We've already got some people in the basement. We've got uh, Anthony and uh, Robert and his better half, I think. I call him Kandar Bar. Uh, you'll see why in a second. Uh, and uh, anybody else who wants to, is a Patreon member who wants to come on panel. We don't do this a lot, guys. We don't do the Brady Bunch a lot, but we actually had no guests this week. We didn't really have Andy's away. So, Andy's like, let's just, let's just have fun and. I, I recommend this, even though Todd thinks I don't like people. It's true. Um, it's surprising I, it came know, to me. I said, why don't we just why don't we just pull some people up? Right. Uh, by the way, Todd, what are you drinking? Wine, figures, figures, figures. Well, well I'm going to be going. All right. So, any Patreon members, if you want to join us, just go to our Patreon post. I just did it right before the stream. Hey, Ben, what's up, Ben? My son, Luke Aram, G Gaming. Just went over Andy, two thousand two hundred Patreon members, or not Patreon members. Got it. Uh, YouTube subscribe. Here he is. To bed. Here's Ben. This is my little son, Benjamin. Benjamin, say hi. Hi. No, talk, talk, hi. Hi. He's talk. Anyway, he's got a gaming channel, and he's got 2,000 subscribers already, and he's 10 years old. Hi, Benny. Almost 2,300. He's going to pass us, Andy, and he's 10 years yeah, old. That's, that's my boy. That's my future <laughs> son-in-law. Yeah. So, right. Anyway, I'm um, already doing a marriage, so he can marry my my daughter. That's so, right. That's uh, right. You're paying for everything, Andy. Um, let's see here. Uh, again, if you're a Patreon member, there's a link in Patreon. We already got uh, Anthony with us and uh, Robert Hayes. Anybody who wants to join us, come on up, even if it's for five minutes. What I want to do tonight, guys, is I want to go over, and in the chat, you can tell us as well, but I'm going to be going through my top five whiskeys I've purchased so far in 24, Andy. And I think you've had most of these. I think you've had all. Actually, you've had all of them. I, yeah, yep. You have um, but this is my ranking. Yours might be a little bit different, and I, you don't have yours in front of you, so I don't expect you to have it. But um, I think it'd be fun to do. I mean, we're, we're three months through the month, a uh, year already. So I don't know. Um, have you been doing as much bourbon hunting as I, I actually haven't done as much bourbon hunting as I normally do? Every and I don't know. Do it always seems to blow up in my I mean, face. For it, but I'm not, I don't know. I'm not chasing everything out there. And if I see it, I see it. Great. Like I just saw all the 1792s. They must have just released in 24. The bottle and bond, the the single barrel, and the full proof at Whitey's for like really good prices. Got them. Um, I, so I mean that to me is kind of how I'm going to do it. I just saw on Sealbacks today they had the James E. Pepper decanter, which you have. I don't. It's fantastic. I bought that. Great. So there you go. That's what I'm doing now. If I see it, one Patreon today, one support. You've been watching a lot of your videos lately. That is awesome. Thank you. We also said yeah. sick intro. So, yes, um, we got what is I joined Patreon today. Nice, Carl. We also, Andy, we had a paid member come in to, just before the show, Sean uh, Warford, W A F O R D, is so a paid to, Patreon member. So to both of you, thank you. Yeah. And uh, you get your you. there you go.
All right, so that Carl said that was him. That's him. And that's, so who, that's awesome. Guys, it's great. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. It's a great time to join. We have some news. We'll get into that a little bit on our Still Austin Rye yeah. Single Barrel, the first ever. And a little bit of stuff, but we're talking about what we're, we're doing the rest of the year. So we'll have some information on that. So this is a great time to join Patreon, and uh, we got good stuff coming. So Andy, do you want to start uh, drinking and bring people up and having I, fun? Or I, what before do? I do, though, I just want to say one thing. Um, you know, we're going to have a pour, hopefully, tonight. I uh, mm -hmm. You text me as I got off the plane uh, on yeah, Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, I was at Hedda Seas. You were at Hedda Seas. And you're like, well, right. he's not going to like this news oh. at all. No, I, I thought about you immediately when I heard it. I mean, I didn't like it either, but I knew it was going to affect you a lot more. So, uh, yeah, so the lead singer of, of Firehouse, CJ Snare, died cardiac arrest on the 5th of April. The news just broke about two days ago. And uh, it was interesting because I have, uh, you know, I, obviously this is the kind of music that you and I really enjoy. We like, we love 80s music. Yeah. But, I, I really like those guys, not just because their music was just fantastic, but they were just good dudes, like really good guys. Yeah, um, sure. Always interacting with fans, always. Uh, they weren't caught up in all the drugs and mess. They were uh, every time they played a show, you, you knew they were going to deliver 100 percent. Like they were just awesome. And um, well, it had a very special like I had this kind of like bond. I felt like with the band, which was cool, which is what I really loved about that. Fast forward, I'm in Vegas to see the U2 show with my wife. And I'm like, we should really go see Firehouse tonight. Like, we should go. And um, we ended up not going. And I'm thinking, it's, it's, it's all right. We'll see them. They're always on tour. We'll see them. They're always on tour. And, uh, I mean, you told me that. You were thinking about going to see them. Because yeah. it was the day you were flying in, right? It was like, is it going to be too much? Is Jackie really going to want to go as soon as we land? Over? You decided, you know what? I'll see them the next time. And, and, and to your point... Yeah. And it's, a, it's, just, it's just a gut punch because, you know, I'm I'm sitting here thinking like, damn, not just that. I, I actually, so about three hours ago, I, I posted a blog on Patreon. Thank you to those of you who indulged me as I wrote about it. it sometimes it's, it's it's therapeutic to just write about things because I thought mm -hmm. about it through the lens of all of us, mm -hmm. you know, Todd, yeah. it was, you know, we remember when Brian Jack passed away and Jamie Lynn, yeah. like we had yeah. these like, like kind of really close like musical bonds with and and so yeah. everybody has their they all have their bands they all have the kind of the soundtrack to their youth whoever it was tim hopped on immediately it's like dude that's the way i felt when prince died it was a gut punch so no we don't necessarily know these guys right, right. but yeah their music has touched us in some way shape or form and so i, I had been wanting to write a blog forever and i was like well unfortunately this is the worst way to inspire you but it did so i put my thoughts out there and I, you know i just remembered like what a, what a cool mm. band they were like a really good yeah. and cj was one of those generational like talents his voice was just insanely good so um so yeah so tonight todd at some point remind me i think i'm going to play right. at uh nope. You see, what are you doing there? You're all engrossed. What no, are you doing? No, no, real quick. I just saw Cheech in the chat. I know Cheech, uh, and we didn't talk about it last week because we had Dancing Goat on. And actually, there's two things going on in the community. I just wanted to bring up. I wanted to let you get through. It's it's another you know issue where Cheech was in a pretty bad accident and has been in some bad shape. And Cheech, you know, he's he supports everybody. I'm looking for the GoFundMe page that I wanted to put. If anybody has Cheech's GoFundMe page, I, I don't know. Somebody sent it to me already. I can't find it. That's what I'm trying to please post it. Also, Fifth Quarter Tailgate, um, you know, Scott Pigsley has got serious issues as well, and there's a page for him. So there's like doubly, equally problems going on with members of the community that we at least wanted to put out there in case you're not familiar with it. You can check out the Fund Me page. It tells you kind of what's going on. Both are very much in need of support. So. I just want to put that out there, Andy. If, people, if any of our moderators have either Scott Pigsley's from Fifth Quarter Tailgate or Cheech's that are going on right now, please, you can push them out and maybe somebody feels inclined to help those guys out. That's my... I just want to get that out there before I forgot. Sorry, go ahead. I'm looking for them, but you know me. I can't do two more things. It's all, it's all good. You're, you don't multitask well. So I I, I see your, your yeah. happy little fellow digits just down there because it's not engaged. So I figured I'd ask you what was going on. So that's all right. We're good. Um, hey, anyway... Uh, so no, it was, it was, but that was uh, that Man, was, any that patron. Was a, come on, come on. 
so anyway, uh, we'll have a we'll have a drink later, Todd. Maybe if you spin some tunes, we'll pull we'll we'll play a little firehouse tunes tonight. Kind of uh, heck yeah, Jordan. Sure, hook up there because we're definitely gonna do that. It's, it's um yeah, just put, I I made it through kind of like the eyes of whoever you insert the band that kind of meant something to you, and that's kind of how it how it you know yeah it hits you yeah so well. Um, I don't even want to think about any, but the day that you know a, a member from Def Leppard passes is going to be a very tar difficult time for this channel and especially you. <laughs> I mean, no. that's gonna, it's, it's gonna be happening. We're all getting older. These guys are not think getting about, younger. No. And that's what I think about. A lot of these guys are, you know, this is becoming more and more common. Steve Whiteman's another good example. We both have the ties to him, you know, that we we the local legend here. Yeah. Both like look, the one thing that we can't outrun is <laughs> that day is coming. We just don't know the time and or the I day. Know. So but uh, well, I didn't expect to point. see yeah. yeah. Your point was very poignant in that you're not guaranteed tomorrow else to live for today, right? That's kind of how. Yeah. And that was more than that. It wasn't so much yeah. about just like a person in particular, but it's like anyone. And that's, that was kind of, it just kind of struck me, especially my daughter. I think I wrote in there that you read that top. Yes. Oh, I read she it. It was said, good. Hey, you know, do you think that I could come with you to a firehouse? So I was like, honey, yeah, they're always on tour. We'll see them this summer, I'm uh, sure. So I was like, ah, it's just a little bit of a gut punch. And then she called me. She's like, daddy, mommy told me that you're uh, <laughs> CJ. I was like, oh, my God, an 11-year-old telling me. I had no so, idea he had, had cancer. When I first saw it, I was like, oh, that must have been what he passed away from. But that's not what it was. He he had a cardiac arrest, I guess, in his sleep or, or yeah. something. Yeah, and that, and that – but see that can happen when you're immunocompromised and your and your heart's been going through a lot a lot of chemo and stuff like that. It's it's it it, it, it does happen and so it's a shame. It's Sixty four years young man. Oh, there you go. You know I'm gonna echo cancellation myself because of how bad it sounds when I'm not next to you. But anyway, all right, you can pause it now. We'll bring people up. Enough. 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 All right, let's Enough. do it. Let's. Uh, let's Let's bring some people. Guys, if you want, if you're a patron, go check the Patreon page out so you can get the link. Yeah, come um, on, join it. Let's make us party. Come on up. In the meantime, let's add some friends here to our panel. What's going on, guys? Oh, all right. So we've oh, got – uh, move this out of the way. I mean, we've got uh, uh, Graveshot with, with his Anthony uh, right here on the left. And then Kandar Bar, as I call it. <laughs> Sorry. Robert Hayes and his better half. Robert, what's you, your uh, name? I'm sorry, I forgot it already. I'm, I'm terrible. Kate. Kate, Robert and Kate. So good to see you guys. Cheers. Uh, welcome to the panel. Thanks for the support. And what are you guys drinking? So I, I wanted to go in our top whiskeys of the year so far, but maybe you're just drinking something else. Oh, we can do that. Um, we got them set up back here. I picked up my top 10 because it's really hard to narrow down five, but I'll narrow down five. Oh, no, I like um, to hear all 10. I want to hear all 10. I want to hear 10. Come on, Robert. I drink a lot. I'm sorry. That's good. I like that. Uh, That's my kind of man. You want to go first? Oh. Okay. Do you guys have two um, lists? Do you guys have two lists or the same? The ten we're kind of agreed on. If we go down to five, we're not agreeing. This one we totally uh, agree on. So we're gonna go ahead and agree on this one. This is um yeah uh, the Bourbon Judges Middle West pick. Heck yeah. And um uh, a good friend of ours was part of the pick team for that, and uh he can't smell for shit, but he can pick out a really good whiskey. All right. They, they don't make bad whiskey there, no, no doubt. I'm going to pick right. one of mine. Ooh, so uh, probably familiar to you, but that's oh, still well on stage. We've got your pick floating around somewhere, too. Oh, but that's not a 2024 buy, so it doesn't count for tonight. Don't worry. There's one come that could uh, make your list very, very, I very I heard, good. and again, like, you can do better than this. Like I am in, but again, uh, not a 2024 yeah. buy. Well, hey, that's we'll right. take that. We'll, we'll raise you one. Yes. <laughs> I'm in. All right, cool. Um, I'm gonna bring it up to my number, my number four spot. Ooh, oh, the oh, Jack okay. Daniels ten year. Um, I, I had the twelve yeah. year when I was um, in Kentucky and the ten year uh, side by side, and I'm like, dude, this is a no brainer. The ten year is better. It's got more complexity to it to me. Uh, the twelve year was a, a little oaky, yeah. but really sweet and very Jack Daniels. This has like herbal notes to it that I've never heard. I've never had on a Jack. Yeah. Daniels. Honestly, you know what? I agree with you one hundred percent about the ten being better than twelve. By the way, I think the ten is maybe my favorite Jack offering. That if 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 when it gets too low, I don't want to drink anymore because I'm, I'm gonna have a hard time. I haven't had it. Well, I couldn't tell you. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not as bougie as you guys. But go ahead. 
Oh, for goodness. Are you, did he really just say that? Can we all pause for a second so we listen to the well, Todd, why don't you paint in on your collection in the back there? Just a handful of the stuff you got going <laughs> I think I, I think, see I some think. tater twos back there, Todd. No, I don't know. Not me, not me. I, 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 we can zoom on his personal no. collection. Um, a couple not of tater. Taylor's back tater. there. Some... This is my stuff I drink. That's the stuff you drink at your private bar in your big house. But he doesn't, he's not vision. He's, <laughs> he's get he's, off he's, me. I feel like we should. Anthony's just sitting back there drinking. We're not even talking. Anthony, how are you, buddy? I'm doing great. How y'all doing? Oh, we're good, buddy. I didn't, you have a list, right? Hopefully, we can come to you in a little bit, and you can tell us oh, what you like. Yeah, I'm ready to go whenever. Yeah. All right. Good. All right. Good. Just didn't think we we're neglecting you. Cheers, buddy. All right. Where are we at, Robert? Kate. Oh, uh, Kate. I might as well go with the one I'm about to pour. I think this is the only actual bourbon on my oh. list. I'm normally a rye drinker. Oh, I but like this it. is a pursuit series, and I think it's their undisclosed Tennessee. Yeah, it is phenomenal. Yeah. It's it's really good. A lot a lot a lot of oak in there. Um, I'm gonna go right into my number three. Oh, it's, uh, Connecting Creek uh, Reparouser um, Bob and Bond Rye, uh, nice. Virginia. Yeah, uh, sure. distillery, and uh, it's it's really nice. You know, Andy, have I have you, not have been there, by the way. It's a small distillery, but they make some great stuff. Have you been? Yeah, I have, I, I have not been to the distillery, actually. Um, it's, it's not even that far from me, but I've it's, never. It's not far, and it's kind of, yeah. it's actually kind of tucked in the middle of Virginia wine country, which is kind of funny. Yeah. So if you do like a little wine tour around there and you want to take a day off and just do straight, you know, whiskey, you can go right over to Kentucky Creek. It's fantastic. Oh, yeah. It's just really yeah, so, some Virginia wine for you there. Dude, oh. I love Virginia wine, man. Hold on, pull, pull that up. Let me take a look at it. All right. So you want a funny one? If you guys want a, like a, a fun Virginia wine, uh, Chrysalis Vineyards or Horton Vineyards? Yeah, Either Horton, one of them. Horton is uh, off of Fifty Eight, I think, uh, almost Central. It's a they have it's, um, they have what's called a Norton. It's it's kind of funny. Mm -hmm. The name's a Horton Norton, but the Norton is a is yeah. a Native American grape with with yeah. a really cool backstory. If you're kind of wine geeky about how it actually saved some of the old European vines because of its resiliency over here when there was a massive uh, bacterial outbreak that almost took out the European wine industry. It's really kind of a really cool story. Hmm. It's called The Wild Vine, and, and it's a local author hmm. who wrote it, but it's a really cool story. But oh, yeah. Check it out. Yeah, check it out. I'm sipping on a little Italian Sicilian wine tonight. Of course you are. So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, masculine. So Todd does get on me. I do love wine. If I could, I might get on you. You love it, yeah. I'm an absolute wine lover, but it's all right. First time I've done that on the screen. Oh, all right. my, my number two. Oh, well, there we go. Wait, who's whose is that? <laughs> oh, this is a oh, crap. Oh, no. oh no. that's something Todd would do. Don't worry. So it must that be is. his. Yeah. There yeah. it is. There's, there's our logo on there. There we go. I'm almost done. Now, here's the thing. I'm glad I'm glad you liked that as much as we did, Robert, because I think it's a fantastic pour. And I, I don't, you know, listen, there's still some available. I know it didn't sell out. It's still available. And I know the people who got it really loved it. And I, I'm not sure why it didn't do as well as we thought it would. But I'm telling you, it's a fantastic bottle. It's still available. And I'm surprised it is, to tell you the truth. But it is what it is. Um, yeah. I, mean, I, I, I talk about it all the time. Um, um, on bourbon groups on the Facebook and whatnot, and people are like, oh, I never knew they did single barrels. I'm like, yeah, you know, you can buy it. Here's the link. They're like, oh, you know, well, I'm like, oh, yeah, I know, right? It, it, <laughs> however, I will really say nice for sure, but I'm right? gonna need you to go back because I need, I need you to pick me some chocolate malt there. Oh, this shoot. is well, amazing, Andy. See, that's the thing. We want to go like we didn't honestly. If you guys want the honest truth, Andy. Bourbon Judge. Todd, Todd, he, Judy, Todd, with the honest truth. Go ahead, Todd. Tell, tell no, us. Saying, he got this. He brought us in. I mean, he he sort of, we didn't, we're not the ones who got this, right? So he brought us in with Chris and we picked it together, but he, he kind of, it was, this was his thing. And we liked it. And we just, we, we said, well, could we go out there? And he's like, there's no time for that. You know, we could not, it, it was either we do it or we, we don't do it. And they're sending us samples. And so we didn't get to get out there. We like to go there. I know the judge does too, but they would not allow it, just didn't work for some reason. If we ever did this again with Hard Truth, you're right. I think it would have to be first Andy going or us going out there, really seeing what they got and getting something. Do you want, do you want, do you want me to go or, or us to go, Todd? I just want you, to you, you, you usually go, Andy. You usually go. Anyway, uh, <laughs> anyway, 
I also want to. I'm in, so just let me know when, and we can join you. Yeah, I love it. You guys can. I need more of that. I want to get one. I really like. Here we go. Another one. There we go. Oh, nice. What's up, Mark? Cheers. Real quick, I, while we're on the hard truth thing, it's still available, but we had a um, March Madness tournament, sort of 21090 patron sort of uh, tournament. And Corey, is he in the chat? I don't see Corey. Cool. Yeah, CJP Bourbon. He won. And Corey, I don't know if you got a bottle of the sweet. I was going to give a, the winner was going to be a, a full bottle of the sweet mash rye that we picked. I have, have like two more, three more actually. And I was going to give one as the winner. I think if you haven't had it, it's yours. If you have it and you don't want another one, I'll figure something else out. But that was what it was going to be, was the hard true sweet mash rye right there. Single barrel pick with the bourbon judge and bourbon of the week. So let me know, uh, CJP bourbon, if uh, – he, oh, he said I need to order another bottle. Crap. Well, there you go. <laughs> Shoot, I shouldn't say that. I need him to order another bottle. Kate, you got to move closer to your, your better half there on this so we can get you in the screen here. Am I hiding? All right, never to, yeah. I'll give him another bottle. It'll be something else. Uh, I want you to order another bottle. No, I'm just joking. Whatever you want to do, uh, Corey, you won. And that's, that's what I was going to do. Is, man. I have one with a Williams yeah. Sedan, and not a good player. And he's not a good guy. So, Okay, very good. There you go. All right, very good. All right, so all right, keep going. That was your number. Where's your, where are you at on this list, uh, Robert? One. What? Oh. This is my number one. All right, number one. What did we? Oh, uh, oh. this is a uh, Lawrenceburg Bourbon Company. Uh, this is their single barrel um, barrel pick A two. I sent you a sample of that, Todd. Um, I haven't opened it, Robert. I, you can't see this, but I've got it. In my Andy, real quick. It, <laughs> it is. Well, don't open I, it. I love the backstory. The there, so I, I can try the, it. Too, the shop is and yeah, it I, is. I really like the bourbon. All right, Robert, tell him to hold off on that. Wait till I get there so I can try that too. He's such a look at him. Just, just wait, buddy. <laughs> I haven't opened it, Robert. It's right here. It came fun. I know oh, you emailed you can, me. I, you can wait. Andy, when are you, you ever going to review whiskey? <laughs> I'm the one reviewing whiskey on this channel. Oh, boy, dear God. Anyway, let's... Um, I'm glad I didn't wrap it in duct tape like I normally do because he's opening it on the on a, on a live here. <laughs> I'd feel really bad if it was wrapped in duct tape. <laughs> it's all good. He doesn't know he's off screen, so he can just sit there and play with his, his knife in his box, his little bar. As he's long fine. As he cut himself. It wouldn't Since surprise. Since you brought up the whiskey, I got to show you the rye. Oh, nice! All right. The rye is phenomenal. Yeah, it's really good. It's actually not their rye. This was uh, this is their only source stuff. Um, okay. This was on a this was from um, Alberta, Canada, and they were shipping it out to um, um, to Russia uh, when Russia decided to be dicks and then raid Ukraine. So they stopped they stopped the shipment. And they contacted him. They're like, hey, you want some barrels of, of rye? He goes, no. And then, like, <laughs> called him back a couple months later. And they're like, the price is reduced to, I think I think he paid someone like $1,600 a barrel for him. That's awesome. Dang. And um, he's like, okay, I'll buy that. So he, he brought <laughs> him in and then dumped him into um, uh, some of his French oak barrels. And um, and then uh, combined uh, those, uh, ten, the 10 barrels he bought. Into uh, blending this this uh, that's very cool this rye and it's really it's really really good. Love the list, great job. And uh, yeah, it's really cool. Uh, this is uh, this is guys got some guys got some hitters on there. Got some hitters on there. Anthony, you ready to rock with some of yours, man? Yeah, sure. All right, what, quick, what uh, yeah. Uh, for the Lawrenceburg uh, Bourbon Company, uh, Greg is a hoot, man. Let me tell you. I met him like two years ago before he uh, officially started the brand. Uh, he's like a, a an Australian who served in the military, I think in the American military. Well, special you know, forces. Forever. Yeah, special forces over here. And uh, he decided to settle down in Kentucky and and he had a little bottle shop going a couple of years ago. And then he, and it was real fun because uh, at the time I had some of the Maryland Heritage series, which I was able to share with him. And it was such a, a great experience. Went back last year, had the uh, uh, bottle, uh, bottle of their 80 proof bourbon, which is fantastic. Probably the best 80 proof bourbon I've ever had. Wow. Uh, but I just thought I'd throw that little story out there. Greg's an awesome guy. Everybody, sh if you're going to go to Wild Turkey, it's literally five minutes away. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, um, yeah. Um, 
top five. So uh, I got a lot of, you know, uh, quick honorable mention. Of course, the uh, hard truth, P1090 pick, very, very enjoyable. Oh, I, um, that. Well, I, I like that one a lot. I've, I've been a fan of hard truth for a couple of years now. So that was like a peak hard truth experience. But I'm not sure if it's better than the character. Guys, we are live. But um, uh, my top five. So <laughs> for me, uh, my number five is. Uh, Lost Lantern, Tom Schoolery. Uh, I thought oh. that was a great recommendation. Yeah, um, well done. I read the model in half with a friend of mine, um, and it is it is fantastic. And that, that's a great um, pour, isn't it? It's really so tasty. very tasty. Yeah, man. Damn, Good call. Good yeah. call. So, my number All right. four. Well, wait, that was the Tom Schoolery you said, right? The Lost Lantern, Tom Schoolery, right? Yeah, yep. that's my number five. For yep. whiskey, the uh, top five I've bought so far. This it's in year. mine. It's in mine. Top five. So yep. Yeah. Uh, my number four is a bourbon. It's going to be mm. the Kings County Batch mm. Seventeen Barrel Strength. I split Ooh. this three ways with two other gentlemen who uh, went uh, on a distillery uh, tour with me. And yeah. uh, let me just tell you, Kings, whatever you've had before of Kings County, take it out of your really? head. Right now, Kings County's pr- just makes some banging well, whiskey. I liked it. A, a year ago, though. Hold on. Is that bad? I, I, I was in on them because thanks to, you know, Bourbon, he got me a bunch of stuff. I have a hazmat from them. Um, I've got their um, a single barrel, barrel proof Empire Rye from them. I've got two bourbons. So, yeah, I mean, I love what they're doing. Absolutely love what they're doing. Yeah. I just mentioned it because I've got some, uh, <laughs> I've got a, like a five year old batch bourbon that, eh, not so, not so good from Kings, but, uh, they, got, it. got it got it got it anyways all right so my number three uh is going to be the far flung rye i personally oh, prefer that the lost dynamite rye man rye. good call on that and did you buy a bottle of that good call on that it's on its way yep nice good 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 it, it. Is, <laughs> it is everything i have ever wanted from like a craft rye whiskey just period rye whiskey. It just you like that better than the, you like that better than the uh, Tom's Foolery. That's that. Yeah, they're both great. I I, I can yeah. see that. Yeah. Well, right. I mean, for me, I put more authority on kind of complexity, and I feel like the yeah. far flung rye has more complexity. But I will say that the Tom's Foolery has better flavors. Got it. So, All right. You know, it just depends on where you're going with it. I'm not a At complex guy. That makes sense. <laughs> so. no. All right. Uh, my number uh, two is actually a uh, a Scotch whiskey. I figure I throw that in there for the people who drink Scotch. There that's go. the uh, Glen Kinchy Twenty Seven Year. Um, if you have the money, I didn't, so I just ran a bottle split on it, and I have uh, about five ounces of it left. I know. Um, and Tom, uh, you got the meat. You can get that. You can get a whole bottle. No you man, I'm tapped out, buddy. You can get two of them. No, I, I, I listen. I just I just bought. No, I just bought something today. I'm done for the. I, I really so look. Uh, yeah, Justin said that's a great bottle. That's a great bottle. Oh, Justin's here. What's up, man? I gotta get over to see them. Justin's yeah. got. He's got a couple good single barrel picks. I need to get over there for. Oh yeah, he has some fantastic barrel picks. Right, it, amazing, amazing. Yeah. All right. Um, so number two. Well, last but not least, my number one whiskey that I bought and may be my number one whiskey for the year because I got st- super lucky with this one. Abraham Bowman Caster. Oh, you got selected? Yeah, I got real lucky. <laughs> did you put in for their five reason? What? Yeah, did you go in for the or the drawing they just announced for the uh the French oak or what is it? I think oh, yeah. the Yeah, I just put in for that. I won't win it, but lucky you, man. That's awesome. You never know. That's true. Can't I like yeah, buddy mine buddy mine won one of those too. We had a, we poured it the other day. It's really good. Good, yeah. That is All awesome. Right. By the way, um, Corey, thank you, man. Appreciate oh, you very much, buddy. Thank um, you, man. Yeah, that's uh, just a, just a good guy, man. We appreciate. It. Let's let's give him the old school thank you. Rock on. Thank you. So there we go. Um, good list, man. Good list, you guys. Uh, <laughs> Can I get some my list? No, it's Mark's turn. We haven't even talked to him yet. Todd, it's not always about you on the Patreon panel. <laughs> <laughs> this, 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 this is why I struggle with no. 
he struggles because he has to talk too much. The whole point of tonight is for you all to talk, for us to get together and hang out. Hmm. Todd struggles with that. I'll pull him back in, but I can take him out if I need to. Are you <laughs> in? <laughs> My number five is oh, also God almighty. See, that's the problem. He, 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 the whole <laughs> thing was for him to let Mark talk. He hasn't even said hello yet. It was, but he, he's got he's to speak. Todd, yeah. we're going to do this one more time. Are you ready? I, I always say hi to Mark, by the way. I said I said hi to Mark in Patreon chat, something you mm -hmm. don't do. Um, anyway, my number five. <laughs> mm -hmm. there, there we go. Mm -hmm. You okay there, little fella? What was your number five? We didn't hear you. Got it. By the way, um, we're going to have a two ounce sample of my top five plus honorable mentions for any super chats. The honorable mentions were the Great Rant uh, Farm Strength. Has anybody ever had the Farm Strength? Great no. Ranch from fantastic. I have, yeah, I love. It. Yes, good. very good. The Sagamore Manhattan finish. Uh, the <laughs> Kings County single barrel hazmat. So Kings County that have that, and then the Old Line Sherry finish. So those were my uh, audible mentions. So you'll get two ounce samples of all that plus the my top five, which you saw my number five for super chat. So there you go. You'll get a total of I think nine whiskeys. So there you go. Anyway, Andy. I wanted to also say before we get to Mark that here we go. I will say we have plenty. You guys were very kind uh, to give us, I guess these are like two ounce samples. So I will, I can't, here's the two Lawrenceburg. They, these were your top whiskeys of the year so far. And then, yeah, Andy, we also got a Sagamore Barrel Select Manhattan Vibes. This is the, uh, the lost bourbon judge pick, right? Correct. There you yes, go. That is correct. And hmm. then I've got a Lawrenceburg. This is another Lawrenceburg. Oh crap! This is hold on. So I've got the rye, I've got the the high wheat rye, and then the the regular bourbon. So I've got three Lawrencebergs. Glens Creek. Oh, Cafe Ole. Yes, and remember Cafe Ole? The uh, mm -hmm. so I was talking to the Robert about this, and I can't wait to try that. I'll be reviewing all these for sure, for sure. And then the Jack Daniels Ten that he just talked about. So thank you. I owe you a bunch of stuff back, don't I, Robert? So I'll get to you. I'm sorry. I will get them back to you. Probably yeah, in that same box. Don't worry about it, man. All right, <laughs> All right, so, I'm sorry. You can. You're, you not, you're not. You're not sorry. People who are sorry actually don't. You know. Let. Let. Do you want to talk to Mark at all? Or should we just? Do you want me to kick him I out now? Talk. Well, I love talking. Mark, I'm sorry. <laughs> How, we're gonna. Have to, we're gonna let you go tonight. What's, no what's up, man? How are you, buddy? Ah, chilling. Trying to stay cool. It's already getting warm down here. Yeah, it's. Um, I'm in St. Augustine right now, and they were saying this time next month it's going to be. It's gonna be nice and nice and hot. So I'm just just right here at the tail end of like the really beautiful weather. So I'm. Oh yeah, damn. we're just preheating down here. It's like 85 today, so it's just preheating. So I I actually have to do that, Greg. By the way, what? See, pick, damn, put a picture of Todd, Scott Van Pelt. Whoever can pick the real Todd wins the sample pack. I like that idea. That's a great. And idea. and Scott Van Pelt went to Maryland like I did. So there's there's that. Like we could have. He's a little older than me, but. You know, I could step, I could step right in for him. He's perfect. Make millions of dollars like he does. You think yeah, I could do I, it in? Yeah, I think you could. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't think you'd do well <laughs> if you couldn't improvise. If you had to have a script, I think you'd struggle. But I think you'd just oh, okay. keep going. Oh, there we go. Look at that. That's, that's a good one right there. I like hey, that. Hey, there we go. There's Speaking one of those. Which, She's getting low. Yes. I know you bought well, a few of them. Hopefully, Real you'll quick. be able to quickly uh, report place that with a rye that is coming very, very soon. So uh, we are probably going to unveil some more information next week about hopefully have a little bit on pricing for you. I believe the logo will be unveiled, which is going to is the name. Know, it's being special. bottled this week. Put it that way. It's being bottled this week. I would expect early May, mid May. We're going to be seeing that kind of come your way. So we'll be ready we'll see more. But uh, I, we're, <laughs> we're excited. We've talked to us and things are looking like they're on track. We'll give you more information on that. But it's uh, it's gonna be another banger, man. It's gonna be good stuff. And the first the first cast strength ride, we're really stoked about that. Then we'll follow that puppy up a couple months later with Corbin Cash. So we got some really good good stuff on the way. I can't Definitely. wait for Corbin. Anyway, if you're in Tennessee or Texas, and you're a Patreon member, I uh, a sort of a link up. We are going to do something with Shared Poor because they don't ship to you guys. 
as opposed to you sending us money and we going down there and giving them money, they're going to allow you to purchase it directly from Shared Poor. You put pick up at store, right? And you write in a, and I put this on the post, so make sure you see this. You'll write in Todd and Andy from 210 will be picking up my bottle. And then we'll work out shipping. But we are going to go down there because we live right near Shared Poor, well, within like 30 miles, to pick up our samples and the bottles we buy. And we'll pick up yours as well that you purchase. You'll get a, a link ahead of time, so to speak, before we go down there. And then, but I need, I need your information. I need your contact information because we personally will be actually mailing them to you. So there is a link where you can, and I think six people so far have. If you haven't, even if I, you know I have your information, if you could just please fill that out so I can have the Texas and Tennessee Patreon members in one place and not be going all over the place to say, oh, I, I know I have an email from that person from three months ago and I have their address. If you could just do that so I have it in one place, it'd be awesome. So if you're thinking about buying a single dollar pick from 21090, please do. And you're from Texas and Tennessee, go fill that out. It takes two seconds. I just need your name and address so I can send it to you. And then that's do how I, I have to work. send you my name and address again. You don't. I have it. But like I said, I'd like to have everything in this database where I can just go through it and say, oh, there, there it is. You don't have to. I know you. I, I do. I've sent you about 15 things. So I do, I do have yours. But other people I don't, please fill that out so I have it. So we're not like scrangling around. Oh, gosh, where's your address? I don't know. Yeah. I'm going to have all that stuff ready to go. All right. Here's, here's, go here's a few of my other picks in no particular order. Uh, this is what Tom like. Kill Holman. It's a, it's a scotch. A little peaty. Very tasty. Wait, didn't we try that? Didn't Sean give us that? Uh, this is a Irene Tan pick, Ooh. which is really good. And yeah, as you can tell, because there's that much left in it. <laughs> um, Andalusia. If y'all haven't heard of Andalusia down here in Texas, you should check them out. This is a really good one. This is a lighter version. The triple chill. They they just do all their own. That's awesome. In fact, they uh they also they have their own peat house where they smoke some of their own grain and everything like that. This one. Oh, yeah, there you, you go. There you go. I haven't heard of that one. There you go. Very, very tasty. Uh, there's only a couple more barrels of that right now out. Um, and this one is really good. Yeah. Yo, there you go. That's which batch is it? What is, which one is that? It's uh, the first one, I believe. Season one. No. What? What? what so if that's found north, but what is what? That's just the, what. That's from uh, this year. Strength Rye, PX Sherry. Oh, bar, finished. Yeah. Okay. Because I had one of those too. That was from. Okay. Gotcha. All I right. think this one was yours. Yeah. Yes. There That's, you go. I really like it. It's quite tasty. Hey, on. I had that. I thought. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. There you go. <laughs> and then, this is the pour I'm going to pour for uh, CJ. Oh. Oh well, let's do that, Andy. It's time for All new right, that. Well, you know, if we're gonna do that. You're gonna indulge me for a second. All right. Hey, this one, so, this one, I got from Ben because of uh, a buddy of mine back in the day. Um, he passed away from pancreatic cancer, and oh, ben, we used to drink Seagram's VO, not VO, but that Seagram Seven. But he had he found the VO, but this one was distilled, uh, bottled in 1963. Holy cow! Look at you got the dusty in your hand. That's awesome. Yeah, and it was actually actually six year old. So what distilled Ooh. in 57, something like that. Wow. So that's, that's pour a little little slash of that right, well, for you know what make a pour before we before we do a toast I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something real quick I uh, I just felt like hey. I had to do this real before fast. You play that, Andy, before you play that Andy real quick I want to be in this chat I think you'd have Justin and George back on from Maryland Heritage Series it's been like a year or so I want to see what they're up to I want to see what maybe they're dipping their toes into in terms of. That brand, maybe, maybe not. I don't know what they got coming up for the local Patreon members, especially that they can also maybe get into. I don't know. I think they're fun to have on. What do you guys think, Anthony? You're local. Yeah, you, you kind of know, not right? That'd be good to have them on again, don't you think? Oh yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, those uh, guys are always so super knowledgeable. What's going? What's going on yeah. in the industry? No, they're there welcome whenever they know that. That's they're they're yeah. welcome whenever. All right, so, go ahead. All right, Todd, are you are you going to not talk for about two minutes? Can you do it? I can do it. I, I have faith in you, little fella. All right, so let me um, mm -hmm. let me pause this real quick. 
All right, hold on. Then let's see if I can do this properly. Hold on, share screen, stop screen, present, share. Now we're good. Okay. All right. I'm going to share this real quick. This is a couple years old, but I, um, before we do a toast to CJ, one of the best vocalists of, uh, of our generation, I reached out to uh, have him do a what's called a cameo a couple years ago for my brother as a Christmas gift. This is what we were able to come up with. I think it was really, um, it was really cool. It kind of exemplifies like the kind of dude he was. Not your typical rock star. Just always very, he was smiling. He's always interacting with the fans. Just a really cool guy. So I'm going to, I'm going to share this real quick. And um, let me pull. Hold on. Let me see. Can you hear that? And here we let me pull this down real fast. Damn, Todd. This, this is. All right. Here what? we go. What are you doing? Are right, you ready? Here we go. Yeah, ready. This was, uh, I did this for my brother. This is really cool. Tony, how's it going? This is CJ Snare from Firehouse, and I'm here. Your brother Andy has chosen me to do a cameo for you for Christmas. So, Merry Christmas, bro, from your brother and from me. He says that you guys are coming to That's MSU, absolutely Charlotte, North Carolina money. on February 27th. He got you the tickets, and that's part of your Christmas present as well. We really appreciate your support, the fact that you have been a big Firehouse fan. I understand also you like all the records. You're a keyboard player, just like me. And you like Category 5. You think that it is seriously underrated. Well, we like all of our albums. So thank you for that. Uh, don't know if that's your favorite or not. Like but uh, when you see us at Amos's, we're still celebrating the 30-year anniversary of the first CD. So we'll be playing it in its entirety, in its running order. So from Andy and me, CJ, to you, Tony, we wish you a Merry Christmas. Peace, bro. See you in, see you in 2021 in February. Rocking around the Christmas tree, have a happy holiday. So there you go. Right. That was, um, yeah. So it was just cool. I, I figured I'd play that. I've never Dude. actually played that before. Um, but uh, no, man, he was a good dude. And uh, one of the, just a hell of a good vocalist. Um, so let's do a quick. <laughs> that was probably Jack. But what's that? What's the park? Yeah, that Where was, was the, the uh, what was the, it was the that was, that was, that was Thunderdome. Man. That's all there too. We saw one of right. their tricks. So let's cheers. invite him up for CJ. I want to pull my, my number four bottle of 2024. It's the K Luke Batch Eight Bourbon. It is my number four. So anybody get K Luke's batches that came out? Oh my god, they're amazing. So. Not just cheers, dude. Stop talking. <laughs> cheers, everybody. Cheers. All right. Sappy stuff out of the way. All right, PCJ. Um, all right, did you want to uh, – does anybody else want to come on up and hang out for a little bit? Evidently not. I promise that Todd will let you talk. I promise. <laughs> we'll let you talk. No, nope. <laughs> not a chance. I'm going to play. So, 
some uh, from some firehouse. So uh, let's do that. There you go. We should have a little tune playing in the background there. Do you want me to play something in the background so you don't have an echo cancellation? I guess you live in love. Only play on the fly. You're bound to get burned. Can you hear that? Well, I've been destroyed. Very well. I get kicked in the face. Feel like I come back for more. But I won't cry no more. Feel like I come back for more. But I won't cry no more. Feel like I come back for more. But I won't cry no more. We can pick up the pieces. Who doesn't remember this one? Let's just get back to the way it was before. Okay, I can't take anymore. That was beautiful, Clark. All right, enough of that. Enough of that. Anyway. <laughs> thank, thank you, Todd. Thank you, Everett. You're welcome. How to do that? How to do that? Uh, what's going on with Corbett Trey? So what else is there I wanted to talk about tonight, Andy? Um, I don't know. What do you guys want to talk about? Uh, are you excited about anything else that's coming out in 24? Bourbon-wise, whiskey-wise? What are you guys excited about besides our well, picks? For me, um, uh, there was that um, – was it that – on coming whiskey, they had a corn cast twelve year label that came out. Oh. I was like, man, I want to, I want to try that. But wait, wow, wait, 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 hold, wait, hold, Andy, wait, what? Andy, hold on here. What is that? Yeah, you got to go through the Instagram logs or whatever of coming Jeez. whiskey, and they wait, have a corn cast twelve year oh. rye label. And I'm like, I what? Didn't, I didn't know that they had stock that old. You didn't. Mm. It's an old post. You're going to have to scroll a little while. I'm going to go there right now. Andy, this is a hateful fool joke. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> no joke. No approval. I swear to God, it was on, on Coming Whiskey on Instagram. Hmm. That said, I'm really excited for y'all's Corbin Cash. Andy, I don't know if you heard what, what Anthony just said. Yeah, I'm sitting right here. What did he say? He said there's a 12 year old. But why am I repeating? I'm right here, dumbass. He said a 12 year old Corbin Cash. 12 what? Right. right. So you're, you're like laughing at that. That stinks. It doesn't stink, Todd. It's it, it is what it is. I don't make the whiskey. We got two. We got the first ever nine years. If there's a twelve year behind us. Well, so be it. That's it is what it yep. is. I think the twelve years a batch product, isn't it? Well, I don't know. It's a label. I don't. I have no idea. I, 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 I mean, I got to point out that Jack Daniel's twelve years is not as good as Jack Daniel's ten years. So you know, age that's isn't everything. That's a very. What are you putting on me for, dude? That's kind of I'm trying to find. Me. Jesus. Um, so look, how I haven't found it yet. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll find it. Don't worry. Whatever. It, it is what it is. So far. Uh, yes, that is. And you have a bottle of that, don't you? Which one? Right there. Look, look. Yeah, I, got, I have one. It's great. Jesus. Yeah, it's very good. Very, very good. All right, what in the chat? What are some of your better? Uh, yeah, and Justin, you're right. Older isn't always better. That is true. That is true. That is true. Unless it's a Maryland Heritage Series bottle, then it is. <laughs> it is. It's 13. Oh, gosh. Yeah, Corbin Cash does have a year coming out. It's not a pick, though. Yeah, I, I get that. I get that. Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm just happy he gave us the, the bourbon, to tell you the truth, because I don't think we weren't planning on doing that. Mm. That was, that was kind of when we got out there, and he's like, I don't know, Todd. I know we were out here for a ride, but that bourbon was something else. And then Bobby was like going off about the bourbon. Like, are you going to pick that instead? And we're like, I don't think so. And then the more Andy talked it up on the plane ride home and we got back and he's like, you think we should do both? I'm like, well, let me try it. And I tried. I'm like, Andy, this is too good to pass up. It's so good. And I, I, listen, I have their regular four year. It's fine. There's nothing special about the Corbin Cash four year bourbon. This is a completely different animal. I mean, it just is. And he's like, what are you doing? And he's, I, and he's, he's laughing. He's listening. Working. I'm, I'm, I'm not doing anything. I'm reading the chat, and, and so I'm just, it's, it's fine. All, all is good. Look, the, those, I'll tell you, those Corbin Cash picks are, are straight up bangers, and they're not going to be available anywhere else. I'm not worried about anything. Look, he does have older stock there, but the other thing you have to remember is 
you're in Atwater, California. It's hot as hell out there. Um, you're going to lose a lot to Angel's share. You're going to get a heavy, heavy oak presence. So if you don't want too much oak, it's kind of like you said, you know, with the, the 12 and the 10 and the jack. Like, I prefer the 10 year, to be honest with you. So yeah, sometimes yeah. too much age Very is not funny, always right? the, the perfect. I've got a it doesn't mean every, age doesn't mean everything. That's um, probably fantastic right there. Yeah, that's a great I saw probably. somebody post about, like, you know, uh, talking about decade old rise, and he's over there drinking juke joint. There's nothing wrong with juke joint. That is one of the. That is one of the top pours of its price point. It is so mm. good. Oh yeah, I, I mean, like I think to each their own when it comes to whiskey. Like I, I, I don't. I hate when whiskey becomes pretentious anyway. And it's like you have to. Oh well, this is a twelve year. This is a six year. This is a two. It good is good. If it tastes good, I don't really care what how old it is or what the proof is. I mean, and that's kind of what we were doing with the the Corbin Cash and like and, and it's still awesome. Like they're just really, really damn good. And they're well, a little. Well, off too that's the thing too like they're a little off profile it's not what you typically would expect to get off the shelf which is the other my, my, my top my top pick so far is a four-year-old you know yeah. it, it'd be out some six years six yeah. years seven eight year and a ten-year-old it doesn't you know it's it's all a matter of you know uh complexity of the pour to me more than I, just a, a, a straight line flavor i i think go ahead, go ahead i would say i think age certainly can add complexity and flavor and i think it's usually a very good thing right I, I, but you're right it can be over oaked it can be doesn't mean everything but i think that's why someone like jonathan maziano doesn't put the age statements on his his batches because he doesn't want people to get and he's he's done a really difficult thing he's created this brand out of nowhere blending whiskeys from various sources to make stuff that is fantastic and he's getting a premium price i mean these are 109 dollars so they're not cheap you don't know what the age is. You see the proof, and that's it. You, you, you don't know anything else about them, but they taste good as shit. And every batch has been a banger. And if he continues doing that, you know, good on him because, you know, he basically says, I don't want to put the age on there because people see that and they think certain things because of that age statement, right? Whether it's good yeah. or bad. And so yeah. I, I think we yeah, all I mean, like if you, if you put If you put like eight drops of a four year old in there, you got to call it a four year old whiskey. Yeah, Even though right. the, the right. heart is 12 years old. Correct. Correct. Well, you, you you know, the other thing is, I think that Jonathan's right about the point of they, anything we do, you can be very influenced by what you see before. You, like, like, it's like they said, don't judge a book by its cover. Well, that's a bunch of crap. Everybody judges a book by its cover. Like, that's just typically what we do. I mean, look so, at me. When you start looking at age statements and you start looking at mash bills and you start looking at the proof points and all that stuff, you eliminately have a bias mm -hmm. in your head of, of what you think this is going to be like before you even taste it. And that can have an, it, it can definitely have a impact on what you're sipping on. So yeah. not just that, but you also got to think that the three tier system is it's, it's a lot harder for distributors to sell the idea of a four year old whiskey than right. it is to sell the idea of a 12 year old age state of whiskey. And it, right. it, yeah. it, it hurts the idea and kind of screws the little guys that are producing yes. really solid stuff. That, that yeah, has a four-year blend in it. I don't. I don't think that I would want a twelve-year-old whiskey aged here in Texas. No, I wouldn't. I mean, like, you like know, I'll still be coming Andalusia as you know, black as is, coffee. Yeah. This Andalusia striker. I've had this thing in blinds against Ardvog and Lagavulin. This what thing comes out on top, and it's a. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't like. I think it's yeah. under three years old. You yeah, see, that's yeah, exactly three to four. You're right, Mark, and you what you said is right too. I mean, the, so we we picked the um the pour some moss on me, which is a three year old bourbon. Yep. And some people say, oh, three years old, really? Well, Nancy yeah. Fraley, who also knows a whole lot more than I do, or Todd does, is, she's like, yeah, that's that's wicked good. Like I can tell you, what, and and it is the the terroir, the climate, where it's aged, what yeah. level in the like. There's so many factors. It's really hard to just be. That's what I like about Lost Lantern, by the way. Is that we have these mm. preconceived notions about what we think a distillery produces, then you get like that Tom's Foolery, or you get the Wollersheim, or you get like a dad's hat that I, I I wasn't a big dad's hat fan. Their single barrel dad's hat was just off the charts good. So I think it's a good way to get rid of your biases when you start talking about um Oh, you know, hey you God, go. you might know this one. Yeah. Uh how old is this guy? I, I there's no age statement on it, but which, I, I would which probably one is guess that? it's probably uh, that? It's it's that's the uh, lost lantern. Yeah, that's the lost lantern. So I, I would venture that that's probably, probably. upwards. Of you know, I don't, I don't know. I don't. I can't remember. 
when it came out, I would say it's probably around three and a half, four years old. Yeah, I probably agree with that. Yep, and it's it's uh, uh, and it's fantastic. You're not gonna get, I don't think you're gonna age on that. I, didn't. I think I, mean, I think that's what Nancy was saying that the uh, the still Austin stuff now, especially her pics, are aging like five to almost six years now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're getting, so they're getting some older stock over there. Yeah, it's but, really surprising and, down here. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know when they'll cut that off. Um, we'll see. Yeah. Uh, my number three. Todd, I will yeah. tell you that when we were in, um, when I was with David in, in Corbett Cash in Atwater, mm -hmm. the climate, it's so hot out there that yeah. um, the, the nine year that we got, and, and the hazmat for that matter, the yields are, are going to be much smaller than what we have. The loss because yeah, yeah, they, yeah. you they, you lose a lot to the angels share out there and yeah. so um so there's all kinds of different factors i just think it makes it fun when you go out and you're exploring like these different places yeah um you know, and, uh higher the higher eight years in whiskey is like a higher velocity in baseball it's a trend now it doesn't mean it's right or doesn't have consequences for the marketplace that's true that is yeah, true you're absolutely right and here's <laughs> i think it's a great analogy the, the other the other thing is um you know sometimes higher age equates to higher price and it's not always worth it. And I think that's the, yeah. that's the problem too. So now you're paying an arm and leg for something because of what's on the label. And so um, I think it's just, it's, I still say we do like the Baltimore Ravens draft mentality, best man available or best bottle mm -hmm. available. Like that's what we want. If it's good, I'm telling you right now, we had Nick on last week from Nick Moss from dancing goat. If you guys enjoyed that episode, we thought it was a lot of fun. He's a cool dude. Mm -hmm. Smart as a whip. Oh, yeah. But damn, some of the stuff they're producing is dynamite, like really good. When I tell you I had that chocolate bitters finish uh, whiskey that was a, from the Woodford Reserve, and that's a great bottle there too. I told Todd about the, the Limousin Rye that I had the six year. They sent yeah. us the nine year, which is also just freaking this killer. Is my number three so far. This is this is what I want rye whiskey to taste like. This is so freaking good, and I've drank half the bottle already, and I've had it for basically a week and a half. I don't did know help. how your liver is is still functioning. To be honest with you, I, I really I'm, don't. I'm working. I don't. I don't drink on Mondays, uh, Wednesdays, or Thursdays. Which is even more impressive that you killed that much of the bottle that fast. So, <laughs> you when, so you're you're drinking enough to make up for the other two days you have off, which is no, kind of impressive. Hey, I'm not no, yeah. Whatever. Anyway, this is my. Make me feel bad over here, Andy. What? Yeah, that's yeah, right. thank you. Thank you. That's the guy who drinks a bottle of wine, Robert. He's, he's right there drinking a bottle of wine tonight, maybe two, and he's talking to me about drinking three quarts of wine. Talk to you all about this narrow mask. Judge mask others. Yeah, yeah the I, I, mask I, lazy I, from Mount Etna, Todd. Sicilian wine from the ashy soil of an active volcano, Mount Etna. This is sounds, a beautiful it, pour. It sounds, it sounds delicious. Go get it. It's fantastic. Well, um, see, Todd, the, the difference is, is Andy's got wearing a nice smoking jacket as he does so. So it, it's, it's a difference. Whatever. He's I can go he's, for a cigar right now. Bougie. He's bougie. Hey, real quick, see, uh, <laughs> do you guys enjoy uh, Nick last week from Danzig Goat? I thought he was freaking awesome. I don't Definitely. know if you guys. Yeah. I think he, I, like I haven't had any much. I, I, this first time I, we had interaction with him, and I came away like I'm ready to go up there, or Andy's ready to go up there and shoot rats. <laughs> <shoot, shoot, laughs> yeah, have this. You, have, have you ever gone through with bad axe bourbon? Bad axe hmm. bourbon. Jesus. Oh yeah. That guy's intense. Bad. Uh -oh, Dude, no. he's awesome. Bobby. I, I, I love Bobby. He's fantastic. Oh, yeah. When Todd and I met him in Atwater, wait a minute. When I met him in Atwater, um, he, just just a just a cool guy, man. Uh, tons of fun. So yes, when Todd and I go to um, Wisconsin to Dancing Goat, I think we're gonna we're gonna have a good time. Um, oh, but Andy, they Andy, have, let me text Andy that Jackson Holiday has been called up the Orioles tonight. I told you it was only a matter of time. Yeah. Anyway, go ahead. Isn't, isn't Todd coming to uh, San Antonio sometime soon? I'm. Yeah, yes, I am. It's for work, and I'm trying mm -hmm. to get a, a night out that I can let everybody know where I, I've got. I'm there for an annual meeting. Oh, jeez. Mm -hmm. What, what, what night is that, Todd? What do you mean? What night is what? What What are the dates there so we can get this thing planned? <laughs> what, what are we getting planned, Andy? What are you doing? Well, I always do a meet and greet every time I'm out on the road because I like. I to will meet be people. there uh, May. May I'll tell everybody. I don't mind that. I don't know if I have a night off, but it's all good. Uh, give me a second. That means May the first Thursday. In, what? May third through sixth of uh, next month. May third through sixth in San Antonio okay. at the. Uh, so I'll I would, text you. I would make trial arrangements. You're not going to see him. I may have Saturday night off. I may have so Saturday night might be my night off. I will see. I leave Sunday, but 
We'll, we'll I've crash got the things hotel I have to room. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, it'll be good for my job. I'm you sure. You have to go home and pack your white socks so you don't burn your feet. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in suits all day. That's and, and and God knows how hot it's gonna be in San Antonio. That's gonna be fun. Yeah, so. I'm going to a JT Mellick pick in uh, Louisiana. And oh, are you doing with, the judge pick? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, and now, now I'm I'm from Louisiana. That's my home turf. Um, I'm I'm okay. from just uh um, just south of New Orleans down there in Metairie, and um, mm -hmm. yeah, I'll be over there towards um, Baton Rouge, and uh, it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting. You know, I t I told them don't fear because mosquitoes will be attacking oh. my ass before they attack them. Because <laughs> good lord, they swarm on me like locusts. It's it's mm -hmm. bad. You, Where you are they in? Work by being there. <laughs> yeah, are they in? Like how, what are you flying to, into New Orleans and then just drive out? Where do you fly into? Flying um, in New Orleans doesn't make any sense to me, man. I, I yeah. know the city; it's my city. And getting getting out of New Orleans is good, is, is a bitch. Um, so no, I'm, I'm flying into Baton Rouge because Branch is only okay. Shit, I mean, an hour what, and thirty what, minutes what away from Branch. Flying to Baton Rouge, man. I, I have work out there, and I you always fly to New Orleans. What what uh, airline flies into Baton Rouge? Um, Southwest. Well, um, no, Southwest no, is not. Southwest um, so we, we're Southwest. flying. Um, I'm flying down there, Delta, and flying out American Airlines. Okay. Uh, okay. Which is not a big deal because I, you know I'm not going to have a I'm not checking a bag, so you know not flying Southwest doesn't really hurt me that much. You know, so just pretty much just uh, uh, you know carry on and um and we're flying out on Thursday and flying back on Saturday and airline tickets and car rental and hotel was only six hundred and ten dollars. So Dang. I think I got a pretty good deal. For all that, that's yeah. 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 For two for two tickets and two people. That's that's great. That's awesome. <laughs> Double that. Three hundred bucks round trip. If for Andy's cost to go out to Corbin Cash for for two days <laughs> for one person. <laughs> oh God, we better sell these barrels. <laughs> oh, I gotta say. <laughs> anyway, Andy, uh, Justin just texted me. He found the coming whiskey Corbin Cash. I think actually David mentioned this to us. It's, it's their 12-year double barrel rye aged in a combination of American and French oak barrels. It, he was remember he was talking about that double barrel? That's I was kind of about ours. I'm just going to call David and see if I can get a bottle of it. Yes. Now, I mean, I certainly want a bottle of this, of course. But good well, Lord. That I'm, I'm sure that if I send it to my place and it's half gone, I can give you a pour like everything else that goes to your little I, bowl place. I just need to do a so, review of it, Andy. I got I to do a video every day. It's not easy doing this. Don't yeah. worry. I'll, I'll give you a little one-ounce sample you can do a review of. You'll be, you'll be mm -hmm. in good shape. Hey, Z man. What's going on? Hey, what's up, brother? Cheers, man. Cheers. Yeah, Scott, we talked about your tailgate. We talked about – um, not tailgate. Yes, you talked about your, your GoFundMe. I hope you're doing well, man. I know you. I think you just got home. So, yeah, guys, if you're inclined, go read up if you're not familiar with some of the things that Scott Pixley's got going on, and uh, he could definitely use everyone's support. Same with Cheech. I know he has one going, too. So thank you, Scott, for posting that, and I uh, hope you're doing well, man. And Todd, uh, Joe had a question. What's that, Andy? I can only you, imagine. Yeah, so you examine wieners in a suit. <laughs> <laughs> I work for the American Urological Association. I probably shouldn't be saying that on the camera, but whatever. So <laughs> it is all good. So, uh, Joe yeah, Graves, yeah. everywhere I go, he's there. <laughs> I don't know what that says about you or him, by the way. So if you ever have to turn and call, think of Todd. He's uh, at some point he's been there with a ruler. So that's, um, all right. So so that Saturday, Todd is going to have a big old San Antonio uh, throwdown. He's going. He's going to get some barbecue, man. Let's get some barbecue. Give some barbecue. It's gonna be it's gonna be great. And evening with Todd is what we're gonna call. It. I'll do the promo for you, Todd. I'll send out the flyers. I'll, all the publicity. You guys are gonna love meeting him in person. You ring my back in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, all right. What's next? Show me the proof. What's going on? Happy Thursday, Tuesday. Yeah, happy Tuesday. Andy, I have to tell you, this, this limousine ride. I can't wait for it to be. Hey, Kate's back. All right. Hi, Kate. You see, I can always, I feel like I can in bed. Ah, there you go. I love that. That's great that you're, you're, I wish my wife drank whiskey. Andy, does Jackie drink any whiskey at all? No, I'm you, very you happy. say that. No offense, no offense to Kate, but I'm glad she does. 300. Yeah. And then the 500 wait, and then 800. Wait, 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 Robert, what'd you say? 
I said, you say that until your bottle collection goes from 80 to yep. 500 and yep. then 800. So I'm okay with that as long because I don't get blamed for it. You can equally then look at each other and say, well, we kind of both did this, not just me. Yeah, I've got a, we've got a storage you know? problem. Storage, right. storage problem. Storage storage problem. problem. It takes it off of me, and then it's like both of our problems, not well, just the shared problem. The issue, Todd, is that yeah. when you yeah. have a 600 head, bottle head start on your wife, and then she joins, yeah, the, uh, the financial damage done prior is still your fault. Dude, dude, yeah, I try, I'm trying to catch up. I, I, my wife is well, shows you how much loan debts. I don't, so you know. Oh, mm. <laughs> my wife. I try to get. I thought, you know, listen, she doesn't like whiskey. Bard's down, and he sent us a bunch of whiskeys, and they sent us. Remember, the, it was those those chocolate truffle infused with their their uh, discovery. I think it was seven or eight. I don't know what it was. They sent us a sample of it. Those were so bad. I, I thought they were good. I was like, oh, these are great. I think, yeah, it's like you could hardly taste the lick. You, you can't taste any. It tastes so good. I at least I couldn't. And uh, she took one butt of it and was threw up. One she didn't like it either, and she could taste the whiskey. She won't try any whiskey. And uh, yeah, I can't get her to drink it. So it is what it is. I don't know. Z man, I got one for you, Todd. 11. What's that? I got, I got a whiskey What's for you for your wife. Hold on, for my wife. What is it? This one. It's a scotch, actually, believe it or not. Glenn Levitt. Glenn Levitt. All right. Caribbean Reserve. Oh, is it sweet? Like real sweet? It's sweet. It's really fruity. It's right. nice and floral. It's uh, only like 80 something proof. Yep. It's like you're describing uh, Yeah, 80 proof. 80 <laughs> proof. So it's not like burn your palate off or yep. nothing like that. that My right. wife will actually drink this one. Most of everything okay. up here, she won't touch. She's a tequila person. But mm. this one, and I had another lady over here that uh, I said, here, let me, let me try for you a sample of this. Yep. And she's like, oh, this is fantastic. I love this. Family. All right, 11, 11 18, so, 24. All right, single yeah. one. All right, I'll look well, for it. I also is a big fan. Like, they drink this quite a bit, too. Oh, my so God. Real it's it's a cool. Cool. Yeah. It's funny. I will on that for a little bit. Which is <laughs> not bad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. The, or, the or this one, Todd. The Caribbean cask is, is fantastic <laughs> scotch. Mm. Peach flavored whiskey. Oh, look at that. <laughs> she probably drank. She she liked rum chata. When I told her we had the guy who made rum chata on, she was kind of impressed. She liked oh, rum that chata. That reminds me of one of my old uh, fantasy football team names. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's hey, Todd. You know, uh, yeah, I've had a lot of success in uh, converting people over to whiskey. But the okay. secret to converting my friends over to uh, low proof, I haven't gotten them cast or anything, is teaching yep. them how to drink whiskey, like the actual skill of drinking whiskey. You know, the whole um, making sure you're not breathing in while you're drinking, that kind of stuff. That okay. goes a long way to acclimating to drinking whiskey. I, I have some friends who hated drinking straight, and now I have converted them all to at least. Drinking yeah. proof whiskey or ninety proof whiskey is great. So I just awesome. want to put yeah, that out. Yeah, I there. mean, I guess part of the problem is I do drink a lot of higher proofs, and so she even just whipped it, and it's like no good. I, I mean, I've tried the lowest proofs I've got are like eighty proof, and she still doesn't. And they're all bourbon, but we're rise. She doesn't. She just will not. She came to say she doesn't like. I'm telling you, like eighty proof Japanese whiskey is so Try that. Yeah. watery that. and and. Okay. Mellow, but it's yeah, like lost, a great yeah. starting point for people to drink. All right. Or Anthony, Gentleman think... Jack. Gentleman Jack is like the thing that got me into whiskey. Or what it's it's worth. pairing it with chocolate and cheese that'll do it. She oh, will. Okay. Yeah, Gentleman Jack, right. I guarantee you that. If I do some Japanese thing and say it's not whiskey, she makes cheese try it. Cheese is the kicker. If you can find cheese to go with it, you're in good shape. No, chocolate yeah, So we whiskey. started, because we used to do a lot of wine. Um, and we would do wine Right. but of course that's that's a whole lot to open like you know you try to try five different ones with your cheese and your chocolate now you've cracked five bottles and what are you going to do with that yeah. um so we slowly switched me over to whiskey and so knowing how to like smell it versus it you know so that i could sniff out the different things and really anything that you would look at during wine that you're gonna you know look at the leg on it is really how i started doing it and pairing it with different things and now i think i've Buy it as often as he does. That's so awesome. Very cool. I gotta Hello, catch up. Guys. He likes bourbon. Do you, I like um, rye. 
I don't own enough rye to compete yeah, with this bourbon shelf yet. And we all hate it, but I have to give my hats off to good old Basil Hayden because that was your first bourbon. <sighs> Mm. But Widow Jane was probably my first love. Yeah, Widow Jane was her first love. She loved Widow Jane. Like being able to go ah, in and smell the right. orange. Actually, you know what? You came at was different. That is a great That's question. question. So, so for the chat right. and for all of us Let's here, go. the first whiskey yeah. that you're like, yep, I love that. That kind of got me into whiskey. Like, what was yeah, the first yeah, whiskey yeah. that got you on that train? We know yours, Todrick, but what is what? Um, no, everybody else's. What's Mr. Mm -hmm. Jigs? What's your, what was yours, Mr. Jig? Poor Todd. Mine was Woodford. Woodford. Oh, there? all right, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Good call. Okay. Mine was probably right. wild turkey. Mm -hmm. Just a wild turkey. turkey. Yeah, yeah wild just a good old one on one back in the day. That and Seagram Seven. Me and my buddy used to pound Seagram Seven. Oh, we got a couple oh, people God. for the. Uh, look, we got the nineteen ten and the nineteen twenty. Brian and Joe. Angel Envy, mm -hmm. Woodford Angel Reserve. Envy. All right, there we go. I will and say, have, Andy, do you remember your first day when Robot Scott was on the channel? He was like our, our expert whiskey guy. And he was a blind one time. It was like the first blind I ever did. I remember this is a long time ago. And he put in, and I, you know, listen, I didn't know what I was doing, obviously. And he put the Angel's Envy rye, which is really sweet. I mean, it, what is that, finished mm -hmm. rum cap? And it's super sweet. I tried that, and it's the first time I tasted whiskey. I was like, holy crap, that's sweet. And at the time, I really liked it and thought, wow, whiskey can be like this? I'm all in now. But yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. Still, you did not like the old granddad 114. That was not so that was the, yeah, got, Oh, that's yes, a good I, one. I like that. It was my that's first whiskey ever, yeah, ever had neat and about killed me. He almost um, threw up. It was I, I got to find. Start out with this. I love it now. I love it now. <laughs> that, wait, wait, hold that up again, Mark. That was your first one. That's your first. No, one. no, don't start out with that. Oh, okay. oh for sure. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. That thing is death in a bottle. It's death in a bottle. Actually, man, I'm with you. The first, now. the first one that got me into it was I went to Dry was 85 it? in Ocean oh. City, mm -hmm. and I did not really know much about whiskey, but I wanted to learn. And I said, "All right, give me like a whiskey education." Gave me a flight of, uh, I can't remember everything that was on it, but the one one stood out to me, and I was like, oh, this is really good. He's like, it's a bit of a higher proof. So I went back, I bought an E.H. Taylor small batch when they were affordable and on the shelf, and I got a Knob Creek 120. And I remember that Knob Creek 120 nine year just kind of changed in my world. I was like, gosh, this is this is intense, but man, the cinnamon flavors on this and the caramel on this, like, this is really, really good. Once you got through like the just the proof point alone and you can start to pull in some flavors like this is just legit good and so i kind of graduated quickly into high high proof whiskey before i started like a little bit lower um then then it was like the the 1920 the 1910s like i just started kind of going on the shelf and pulling pulling bottles that's when i got the 114 i was like dude this is great too it's like todd you've got to try it you're gonna love it it's like a cinnamon like a red oh, he tried it. He was all the single barrels are there we go. Yeah, and I have the old school one. That that um, I have my original bottle. Yeah, yep. but that is such the a good nine? pour. Isn't that a great pour? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the nine for me was pretty good, but I tried the twelve, and it's hands down much better, at least for me. I mean, yeah, I agree. You would think it would be more over oaked and stuff. No, no, no. I you know what? I agree with you hundred percent. Uh, the 12 is the best of the lot, I think. I It, it wasn't out yet when I first started getting into bourbon. I agree. Yeah. But I still think the 12 is better than the 15 any day of the week. Like, oh. if you give me the oh, yeah. 15, I think far. give me the 12 any day of the week. Yeah. I have a, I have a store near me that buys the 12s for restaurants, and they always get the over, and they'll, it'll throw up on the shelves. It's $65 a bottle. That's a bottle. Dang. Yeah, it's a steal. It's good juice. Yeah. It's good juice. Yeah. Absolutely. Agree, it's, it's one of the best, best deals out there. Oh. <laughs> I never see the twelve around here. It, it disappears before I, I get to the the well, liquor it's, stores. It's one of the last good deals that are still out there, which, which yeah. I, I, I like. And so if you if you can get it for the right price, like that much, it, you know, it's it's there, worth it. Um, I mean, all right. Personally, I've, I've gotten a lot more into a lot of the scotches and Irish. Uh, from basically late, late last year through this year so far, I've been drinking more Scotch and Irish, just because it's they're completely different flavors than your normal bourbons. You know, your normal bourbons have your your same you know oaky, 
you know, cinnamon, you know, caramel, vanilla, you know, it's all that same kind of stuff. Whereas you go to a Scotch or an Irish, you're going to come up with all kinds of different fruity flavors and, you know, floral notes and, you know, lower proof, but still more flavor. Yeah. Well, I think actually when it comes to this, this is a question I've been wanting to ask because I find scotch has a lot of depth, but I wonder if that's not a lot to do with the pot still effect because yes. when I drink pot still bourbons, they have a lot of fruity flavors that I don't get a lot of on column still bourbons. I don't know yes. if anybody has any thoughts on that. No, they're pulling I, a, lot I would have to agree. Big, a lot of those big tans are being eliminated when you do that too. So you get more of those fruity kind of astronauts coming through when you, when you do it. And it's like, if you're going to get a, a, you know, sip on a Jameson, it's, triple pot still like it's it's going to be soft it's going to be floral it's going to it's um so it's, it's I, ripping it's, ripping instead of stripping uh, when it comes to uh, pot still how how it how it can um how it can pull the alcohol out of the mash versus a column still uh column still is like literally is blasting the liquor out uh whereas a pot still is pretty much like a pot it's it's boiling it out so it's it's ripping it from there so you get a lot of the esters um, mm -hmm. from the mash into the still, which is sometimes not appreciated because you get like these like burny notes if it's done wrong. Mm -hmm. um, well, well, it's, well, it's, it's, it's much more much more equal to uh, uh, create the same effect every single time you do it. And plus you can you can start pumping out a lot of juice really quick because you can constantly run your column still constantly pouring down and stripping. Yeah, uh, where pot still is longer and and it takes more time and more effort and you need to know what the hell you're doing if you're if you're uh, pot stilling. So pot okay. stilling is better than column stilling, but requires finesse. Yeah, yeah I think well, pot still is a kind of a, a skill, whereas a column still it has a little bit more room for error. Um, like one of my favorite pot stills is like this Maryland Epic Grand Reserve. Oh Maryland, yeah, yeah. Yes. Flavors, you know? Yes. Yes. Real quick, Andy. Uh, Z Man, yes. thanks. He, 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 yeah, I, I thought you were a Patreon member. You're. He, he came on tonight as a Patreon member. And Kate. Kate. I couldn't. I could. I couldn't get onto the stream because Patreon on my device didn't recognize me. So I said, oh. Oh, four, "Hey, four dollars and thirty cents. I don't give a shit." No, and I, dude. And I, and well, no, I we, we got to give you the proper thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, hey, I, I got to get rid of one of them. Oh, come on. Oh, right yeah, oh, two proper intros. Here we go. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Do we want to get right? It's not the right intro. One more second. Here we go. Thank you. Welcome to the I think the moral story is that I need to get on Patreon to remember my password because I couldn't remember yeah. it. it wasn't <laughs> yeah, yeah, believe me, we have the same problem. Hey, oh guys, God. thank you. KV man, thank you guys. You guys are the best. Robert, thank you. I wanted to get on here and say hi to you guys. Appreciate it. Nah, that's yeah, awesome. Really appreciate it, man. Very, very yeah. cool. Hey, real awesome. quick, number two, my number two bottle uh, so far is the Tom's Foolery. I know that was some people's in there. Mm. I love this. I love this bottle. And it's, well, I've only had the same. Yeah, so I know we missed it. Nobody's fool, nobody's nobody's fool. There you go. Anyway, <laughs> that was not an America, Andy. That sucked. That was a horrible pop. Like that was terrible. Andy says, "What do you say, Andy?" There you go, Canada. 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 That's what Andy says. Anyway. Oh, oh shit! That reminds me. I gotta check how the Jets are doing. They're playing. Oh my god, the Jets. Jeez, the Louise. Canada, eh? Hey, Ben. Ben is down in Kentucky. Are you? Oh. I guess he's doing pick. He's doing some kind of pick. I think oh, uh higher three to one over Nashville. Cheers, mm. man. Oh my god. <laughs> Has oh, hey, anybody in the chat had the Bernheim uh A two twenty four yet? No. No, oh, good lord, that is good. I'm telling I'm you, man. Some Bernheim, but not that one. Five dollars. Sleep on that. It's really good. Super good. Oh, it's, right, right, Todd, it's it's at my liquor store, I could go buy it. And you you are uh <laughs> Man, you like your rise. It's amazing you like a, a weeded whiskey like that. I love I like weeded whiskeys too, man. I do. I do. 
Not and it's much. 50 it's 51 percent, so it's not like it's a huge it's still very sweet it's like cinnamon sticks um you know you get, you get a lot of you get a lot of a lot of that on it so i mean it's it's not the most complex bourbon or I guess it's not a bourbon whiskey in the world but i don't know i like it for 65 bucks it's, it's really tasty to me so. yeah i think it's i think it's yeah i think it's 65 66 here in yeah. virginia yeah it's it's yeah, just on the shelf it was on the allocated it was on the allocated mm -hmm. list and it would never be around but now it's a, a shelfer nobody buys yeah. it <laughs> really yeah. well i don't know man i Todd get like Dave said yeah. the, the Bernheim was pretty good. I agree. I mean, listen, I'll send that out in a sample on this all too. If somebody, if whoever for the sampler for the uh, super chats, it, I think it's really good. If you're like confused as to what it is, it's Heaven Hill Weed Whiskey. I mean, whatever. I'll, tra I'll trade you a uh, a rye for a uh, wheat. Oh, oh, heck yeah, man. That Look is that. nice. That is probably. Uh, you you do a trade? Yeah, I'll trade. Yeah. Yes. I'll send you a sample in the package. I'll send you a sample of the Bernheim eight twenty two twenty four, so you guys can try. Well, you gotta wait. You gotta wait till I send you this and that. Well, I, I already have fair trade. You already already you already said uh, I have that nine year rye bottle here. So yeah, okay. Um, so why don't we do a trade? Not you, Todd. We'll do a trade for some. Samples, <laughs> Andy. I'll be glad to do it. Has, has anybody in this chat ever had a sample sent to them from Andy? Anybody? Anybody? I guarantee mm -hmm. you somebody out there. No. Have you had a sample set for me? Yeah, I have. No. Nope. Yeah. Well, it's like, all right. It's coming. Okay. Uh, you're right. You got me there. I think there's still a few hey, people that are waiting for t shirts from Andy. Come on. Oh, well done, Mark. Well done, Mark. Well done, Mark. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Oh, don't worry. Too expensive. What's too expensive? Oh, what look, is too look, look, see that? Kathy had a t shirt delivered, for, hand delivered from you once. That's and that true. You true. did. You did. That's that was right. like a few years ago, wasn't it? Yeah. It was probably yeah. four or five years ago, though. And she, she yeah. can't even fit it anymore. It shrank in the wash. Hey, Mark, how many times has Todd come out to visit you? Ah, uh, <laughs> zilch. Although Andy's been here twice, though. I'm mm -hmm. coming in May. Oh, my God, this Tom Foolery is so good. God, that's good. That's rye whiskey, man. Woo! Oh, it's, it's really fantastic. You got to speak up with your demands on your rye whiskey. <laughs> what do you want to trade for a sample of your Tom's Foolery? You just name uh, it. I'll find it. Now, I, I, anyway, you want some? I'll send it to you. I don't care. I'll send oh, you. Oh, it was a nice school kid. There you go. I, I'll send. I'll put this in there too. I, um, Robert, what was I supposed to send you anyway? It, what was the? I, I know I said I was supposed to send you stuff, but I can't remember. Does he remember? Uh, what, we never made an agreement, man. You send me whatever. Well, then, whatever, you, whatever. You, the Tom try, Foolery. Try your Tom samples Foolery. and try your samples. Let me know what you think and how they compare to what things you have, and okay. you'll be the judge, buddy. You have but, any um, of Luke? Do you have any of the I, know, I know they're they're closing out and it really sucks, man. But anybody have the Fibonacci blend from Stella? Oh yeah, that's fantastic rye whiskey. Yes, it is. Mm. Would you say they're I, what they're they're they're, they're selling? What did you say? They they're doing? A barrel is closing the Stella line. They are. I figured they were doing that when they brought out their their lower cost barrel one hundred proof. You know that, that you know. Well, I figured they can do that to themselves. So I think they. They mismarketed what they were trying to go for, and then when they started putting out higher price Stellums, then it started defeating the purpose of what the whole line was for, because it yeah. was like low frills, no fancy logos, all that stuff, and then all but, of a sudden. But Stellum could have been it could have been their shelf stable stuff. Uh, from I Barrel. agree. Um, um, it's and really but good Barrel stuff needs too. a shelf stable item. All they do is is special releases and batch releases. And I think the market's moved away from that. What is this? Is this, this going to be now? And this is it? Oh, that's the 10th ever. Shoot. I get now. Where's the, the barrel 100? The 100 proof. That their bottle and bond, the first nine casts. That's what I thought. I actually, it's over there. What is it called again? The barrel foundations is what Foundation, it's called. Foundation. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look at Lance. That's awesome. Inspired me to go through my old ticket stubs. Def Leppard, oh. 929 uh, Worcester Center. And yeah, I have old ticket stubs. We have to do that one time. That's I do fun. too. I got a whole bunch of them. We should, we should do that one night and just kind of go. Yes. Go that would be really fun. fun. You guys used to keep from your old concerts ticket stubs. Do you remember ticket stubs, right? Yeah. You I had, had a shoebox full of them. Right. Yes. Yes. I, I, waiting. I, we, I waited overnight one night for tickets for the Ticketmaster yes. window to open up so you could get there. And they just had whatever it was allocated there. And you went up and you tried to like quickly grab like, best seats available, please. And bam, they give you two. 
You go where like you most go. Of my shit was before Ticketmaster was a thing. Correct. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> And I think it was, was it Waterbed? The Waterbed store is where we would go. That's where the Ticketmaster location, Maryland Waterbeds. Remember that in the corner in Glen Burnie? Glen Burnie, where the corner by the, where the ice yeah. rink is now. And that's where you would go. You would go there the night before because it would open up at nine o'clock and people would be waiting to get there. God, we were such, that's such God, crazy. Dude, you're missing out by not drinking wine once the blue moon. It's really good. <laughs> you're missing out. No, I'm not. I've got you all are. this whiskey. To drink. I got all this whiskey and all this whiskey over there. I got a lot of stuff to drink. If I start bringing home wine, well, my wife does like wine, though. That might be good for me. I mean, I, maybe I'm doing this all wrong. That's probably I am doing it all wrong. But I like a good Merlot occasionally. Uh, I'm you telling know, you. It's water vineyards. They're really expensive, obviously, because, I mean, everything you do is expensive. But they're, Andy, their wine, his wine is really yeah, it's good. Great, but you know what? You don't, again, kind of like old Carter, no offense, like you don't need to spend that kind of money to get good wine. You don't. I agree. Now. Um, agree. Like this, this, like, all right, I'll tell you that right now. Like, so. Southern Italian wine. I absolutely love wine from Southern Italy. Mm. It's cheap because it's not like the big named old school like big Italian grapes. So, but some of it is just absolutely phenomenal. This is a fourteen dollar bottle of wine, and it's just killer. It's great. Cool. So I, I, but the problem is, Kate, you said it earlier. You can't like pull out four, five or six wines and then just start sampling through because it goes bad quick. So that's the yeah. thing about whiskey is like you want to make sure that you. What the hell? It's a Marty party. It's a Marty party. What's happening? Is that Marty? That's not, what? God, I wish I had. I'm bringing sexy back because I could play it like on demand. Because well, I'm here. Uh, you know, it's it's funny that you say that, Andy, because I'm well deserving of that, and also, <laughs> and, and Joe Graves is very deserving of that. But also, I'm here to defend you because I think. Uh, mm -hmm. No, nah, I can't say. <laughs> I was gonna say everything I've gotten is from Andy, but I, yeah, <laughs> I do know I do know this. Andy has sent me shirts. I, I'll give Andy that. Andy, have you not sent me shirts before? I sure I've have. Got, I've got pour some gravy on me. Oh, that is that is a consistent Thanksgiving shirt. That's great. Uh, I can pour some gravy on my shirt and give it to you. And, <laughs> That's and, true. And I'm trying to think what. Uh, Yep. Uh, so thank we you. Got, we got we got to bring that back. The pour some gravy on me shirt. We got to bring that and the pour some eggs on me. We have Patrick's Day. The glam rock yeah. shirt. Yeah. Yeah. Beer yeah. Glam rock. We need to do all that. Now we don't do it anymore. Well. Now what? I mean. You know, I designed <laughs> them. I, I I did push them out. You know, I I, oh I told you oh oh I do oh like the uh, oh the meat and greens. Todd does do shorts. What say you? But I mean, I I do I do a few things. So. <laughs> Hey, Todd, I gotta share. I gotta, I gotta share hey, Marty, Marty, did, did she ever show up today? Did she show up today? Uh, well, uh, no. Because <laughs> guess what? She's going to our show later this month, and that does not bode well for us. Well, uh, we might here, cancel that. Here's here's the thing about that was like you know I was like what the hell's going on? I was like that's not like Colin, you know this guy. To no, accept. not at all. Yeah, so I, after me and Stacy got done and me and Jody got done, I started going back through emails, and it was 110 percent my fault. It's oh no, wrong date. Yeah, April 16th. So it's next oh, Tuesday. No. Oh no. Oh no. All right. Yeah. Back. So, All right. That's fine. That gave me a preview of what I need to do tonight for next week. <laughs> right. And it'll there be even go. better. So I've already right. texted Stacy. So uh, yeah. So anyway. All right. Well, cheers. Hey, we're going over our top whiskey so far of 24. That's what we've kind of been talking about tonight. Everybody's kind of giving what yeah, they're like really. You know, Mr. Jicks, have you have you told us what your like top uh, bottles are so far this year that you've gotten gotten into? Before we get to Marty, is there anything that you can think of that you bought this year that you really like? Mr. Jicks, no. I'm sorry, Z-Man. I meant to say Z-Man. Why did I say Mr. Jicks? Yeah. Z-Man. Oh, oh shit! Hell yeah. Hold on. Oh, I try that's. To get, I, I try to get more of it. That's the list. <laughs> So that's the yeah, yeah 1783. That's the that's the special one. Evan Williams. That's, yeah. that's the Heroes, Heroes edition. Then yeah. I, then I tripped across this one. Oh, what's the proof on that one? One twenty nine point nine. Oh nice. yes. It no, does the lower not proof. Tastes like a rye. Oh, well, I wouldn't like that then. No. <laughs> it's, it's, it's it's worth sixty five bucks. Tony. There you go. This, All this right, party. Oh, 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 yeah. All right. 
There you go. Beautiful. That's about all we got to get. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not, I got this out of a fucking grocery store, believe it or not. Well, I got the regular. The separate regular 1783 is great, too. I haven't gotten that sort of that one. Up. <laughs> well, I went back to that one's different, grab, Todd. I was going to get a couple it, more is bottles. Is it, is, it, is, it, is it? Okay. I like the regular 1783. I love it. Yeah, it's. Jesus. Uh, eight. That one is uh, a smoother. Yeah. A lot it's easier to sip on and a little better what, flavor. What's the difference? What is the difference? Uh, what's the difference on that as opposed to the regular 1783? What are they doing different? It's, that one's more of a pick. Uh, there was some. Uh, who was oh, it? I think it was like, is that what it is? Yeah, like just a, a few people, uh, some vets picked that one. Okay, I got it. Okay, and, uh, it's yeah. it's a better pick. It really is. It's a good. It's just a good pick. Oh, oh god. That was you, want, you want that to come up? The other one? Oh no. Apple uses older whiskey too. Uh oh, we lost them. I don't know. Yeah, they might All right. Back. Thank you, Corey. You rock, brother. Uh, all right, Marty, you got any uh, bottles that you've really been into? You might be doing this on your channel, so we'll uh... – oh, oh, Andy, put him up. I'll do it. There you go. Ah, look at you. Oh, look at you. All right, so Ben Holiday is a big favorite for you. Uh, take us through five through one. What do you got? Uh, right now, the, my favorite pick is the Green River that Renee and uh, mm. Top Dog did. Oh, mm. hell yeah. Yeah. The 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 biggest surprise is the still all or where to go still Austin blue corn great shot. Why is that a surprise? Why is that because, a surprise? Because I've never had blue corn before. Well, no, well, who cares about that? But it tastes yeah. Well, oh, I'm, I'm <laughs> okay. Yeah, who are I, But it's, it doesn't surprise me that it's Todd, really. Todd has blue corn all the time. He knew exactly what to do. Well, no. I mean, I, you the right <laughs> I guess when you look at when you look at value and everything for what this is, it's phenomenal. Um, and, and then and then the Ben Holidays. Well, shit, I got. Let's just keep going. Let's go with those. Let's go with these two. Oh, gee. I might, hey, there you go. That's my number I mean, one. That's my number one. Yeah, yeah I, and then the Snow Riff Eight is. This this might be the best summertime whiskey on the market right now. And it, it just came out. What is that? It what came is out it? like three weeks ago? It's still spring mm. It's and so if you get on their website, they so were strange. still available for shipping on their that website. All right. So this year, yeah. oh, Saucy got some info. I wish Saucy yeah. Shane would come up here, Andy. Don't you miss Saucy being on the streams with us? He used to always Sa come on the streams. Saucy did yeah. tell me if um, I do a solo stream, Saucy will come up. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. All right. Justin at all of you says that new Riff eight years is freaking fire. Justin, you have some at your store? <laughs> when are you getting them in? <laughs> yeah, that's anyway. what I want to Man, I've been waiting the, on that to come. Yeah, right? Yeah, there you go. Uh, everybody's you know, seen it. Awesome, right? John Grant says new Riff single malt is good. Uh, the Turks gave me some of that when they stayed here a couple weeks ago, but I, I thought it was very peppery, right. very black pepper. Mm -hmm. All right, this is my number one whiskey so far. Hey, I love this. Hey, Todd. Hey, Todd. Hey, Todd. Yeah, buddy. I've got, I've yeah, got buddy. three Let's of go. them. Uh -huh. I love it. How so good much. is this bottle? How good is this bottle? I, I've got three I mean, of them. I love it that much. Uh, so exactly. You got three of them? Dang you, I man. Well three. done. And, and, and then, hold on a minute. Oh, it's so <laughs> good. I've already killed this. Oh, I, we don't get that. We don't, we don't get that. We had to buy ours. Yeah. <laughs> Now, John, Jonathan, they were great, man. They were awesome. The letter, I know. You know, the letter, yeah, hands down, hands down. I yeah, love I this. Ha movie. I was happy he sent me a couple bottles. They were really good. <laughs> he didn't send us anything in. Todd didn't want to get it. I bought them. What are you talking about? Anyway, uh, no people. So yeah, that's my number so one. I got, I got to know, like the K Loop toasted barrel. What is it specifically that's enrapturing you? Because there are some heavy hitters in that Tom's Foolery Rye and stuff like that. What it, What is it about that K. Luke Tosin that's that's really it, it, doing it for you? It, I'm just drinking now. I love every. So here's the thing about this. I'm not. I don't. I'm not usually a huge toasted fan either. I mean, but this to me has sort of that sweetness up front, and it drinks. It's 118 proof. I could drink this so quickly that it would destroy me and I, it's sweet and spicy and savory and i think complex um 
as opposed to some, listen, I don't know. You could blind these all, and I could come up with a different le- uh, a different order. I probably, yeah. should, I probably should blind them, put it that way. So I'm probably doing a disservice. I actually will blind them when I do my end of year. This is just me as I am right now. I was enamored because I'm not a huge toast fan, so to speak. You used was, to love Elijah Craig Toast Barrel. There's, there's, there, there, when you, when you do this, if you, if you yep. put the K. Luke Toasted 2 against other toasted barrels right. that you have, yeah, like Elijah you. Craig Toasted, anything like that, number one, the proof is going to stand out because it's mm-hmm. higher proof and it's fantastic. But right. it's got baking spices and a spice kick. That yes. you just don't normally get on a the regular toasted, and barrel. the toasted, toasted the, barrels. Toasted barrels usually come across kind of bland and a no. dying finish. This does not have a dying finish. Nope. The finish nope. keeps going and explodes. No, my, my, my favorite is Sagamore toasted. Oh, well, that's yeah. Uh, that's well, you're yeah, dealing that's with a rock. He- yeah, Heaven yeah. Hills, and I get it. You're right. You're right. You're right, Z Man. Toast that. That's a good one. But this one, just God, am I, what, this one, a barrel blend. I think. I I usually I, I was I didn't know if I wanted to buy this because I didn't get number one. And uh, actually, somebody sent me them. I have I have that one. I forget who sent me this. I've got a sample of it too, Todd from the Turks. I think it wasn't the Turks. It's some other. Piece. I have to, I have it written down somewhere. Here it is. There there it is. I have it. So I'm going to try it back. But I, I, I don't know. I was not. It might be also Anthony that I wasn't expecting as much from this, and when I drank it, I absolutely fell in love with it. I was expecting a lot from batch eight, and I loved it. So it might be some of that bias right there of just like, oh my god, it's it's it's, it's way better than I thought it was going to be, and it blew yeah. me away. Yeah. And that, was, that that's probably going on there a little bit. And so if I blind these, I I might come out with a different. And I'll do that for our final. For, for me, what really killed the idea of toasted was Heaven Hill. Like everything in Heaven Hill does toasted, whether it be their their toasted rye yeah. finish or their uh, uh, um, uh, um, or their or their toasted um, uh, Elijah Craig, it just added yeah. this weird cereal grain milk note to everything they did, and you can taste a really good bourbon behind it. Yep. But it was destroyed think, by think, this youthfulness of whatever toasted barrel yeah. they put it in. Right. And I couldn't stand it. Well, they're getting ready to do a, a toasted rock cast string. Mm. Heaven Hill is. Yep. And I bet I'm dumb enough to buy it and try I, it. You know what? I am doing it. <laughs> but you know what? I, you know what? It'll be it'll, it'll be so damn allocated and sh- we might not What's even up, Brian? Uh, Here's, I man. probably won't even see it around here. No, nah, I, I probably won't either, Mark. Yeah. Don't underestimate my stupidity of getting something. <laughs> it's like one of those Tom, things. Like I, 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 I enjoy new flavors, but goddamn, sometimes it's punishing it to is. get those new flavors. <laughs> Tom, the sugar, you know, which, like, the sugar, the sugar, what, seven, eight, what's your, oh. what's everyone's worst bourbon uh, they've picked up in the last I, couple I, of years? I, I hate. I don't like that at all. I don't like oh. that at all. So bad, isn't it? I want I the red it. corn of that real bad, but I'm not paying a hundred dollars for it. Oh, I don't know. like. I don't. It was a hundred and nine dollars for that bottle, and, no, there you and go. I tell you, it's been that. It's, it's, is that Kansas know, County? Like four years Park. old at this point. Nope. No, that's West. The worst you? one. Oh, tr- a tri- tire fire. <laughs> tire fire. <laughs> Boy, they nailed that, didn't they? I, I was hoping from a really good, you know, PD single malt from uh, was this ASW. Because I had their fiddler yeah. and that was fantastic. Oh my goodness, the Georgia yeah, uh, or Heartwood or whatever it was, was awesome. Yep. That yeah. was really good. This one, freaking horrible, drain poor. Oh, sure. I mean, I haven't poured it out because I want other people to try this and see how bad it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only reason I'm holding on to that bottle. Oh yeah, I 100 percent agree, Todd. It, that is not. I'm not good. buying any hidden barrel. The first one I heard was so bad. Worst I tried. This look, is my I, worst one. I, I went back to this, and I went back to it, and I went back to it, and it didn't get at this. And I paid what? Oh, that's, that's not. Oh, my uh, that's my worst one. Oh, oh, my oh, God. Falls Church. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> it is like, god awful. Is that Falls Church, Falls Virginia? Church. Yep. Yeah. It is. It is. Oh no! It's God I've never awful. Seen that one. I grew up. I grew. I grew up around there, and that's why I bought it. Yeah. And I Fall, regret Falls it. Falls Church is a great Toyota dealership. Aside from that, they don't make good distillery. <laughs> yeah, no. You're right. <laughs> I got you, Johnny. I mean, 
No, the, the, the one out of Virginia that I'm enjoying is that one. Um, oh, all right. Everybody's going on. Oh, yeah, there we go. Go ahead. That's right. Everybody. That, that, that's if you want me to say it, that's tough. Go ahead, Anthony. Show yours off, Anthony. Go ahead, Anthony. Show yours off. He's got it, too. Yeah, Everybody's got it. This, this, yeah. this is one of four. Oh, why is that one of four? What do you have? That's a, what? The I heck, won. What? I got four of them. Oh my God! Are you serious? I had I had eight people in her and four people won. Oh my so God! The Good first one is, you're, you're, is you're, you're, gone because I I took the really pieces meet up and like shared it with family. That, yeah. What's Damn, Brian. Damn, this good is the only good stuff I ever personally get, so I gotta throw it out there. Brian, <laughs> you should take an empty bottle, fill it up with something you don't like, and trade it to Todd for a full one, and get something good in return. <laughs> Shut up, Andy. Oh, I could, hey, I, real quick, I could put the false church in the empty one and send it. There to you me. go. Put that false church right here, and, 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 and see the label influences you at all. Hey, yeah, Todd, I got what's a, up? I got a proof. I got a proof for my pick today. You got a what? I got approved for this pick today. Oh, oh, oh there hold on. Uh, what's the what's proof really? for that puppy? Yep. Well, hold on. You, you got approved. 115 proof uh, barrel proof rye. Oh, good. I gave you a Nobody, yeah. We, you, yes, we drank oh. that the other week. That yeah. was awesome. That's super. That's out of Virginia. Or no, where? North Carolina. North, North Carolina. Carolina. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. So what's so that? What's going on? A, I'm either going to do a full barrel or a half barrel. I haven't decided yet. I've what is it? Out? Contributing. Andy, uh, show that again, Marty. Show that. Quick. Show it like closer here. You can see it. Hold on, Andy. Get him back up. John J. Connolly, right? Is that what you're yeah. There, John. Oh, yeah. John A. P. Connolly. Oh, it's delicious. Yeah. Oh my, I don't know that bottle. Yeah. I don't though. know that one, but they're blue ones. They're blue labeled, right? Marty, I'll have it. I think I drank it. Marty, yeah, I think I drank it. We drank it all. Can you, uh, do you think you could, you have your phone on you right now? Can Who? I what? Do you have your phone on you right now? Mm-hmm. Can you pull up like the night before Christmas, like on your phone real fast? Just, just the actual, like the actual poem. Just pull it up. His, his voice is just like Morgan Freeman. I just want him to read me a bedtime story. I'm getting, and I, can you just, I mean, I could listen to Marty all day. Can you just like read a, like just a couple lines for us all? Because so are, so, so are you saying when Marty talks, he puts you to sleep? Is that? What I, I, no, it's just like, I'm not ready for yeah. nine nights, guys. It's just you know he's got one of those James, I mean uh, those Morgan Freeman voices. It's kind of like you know I, I just you, you can read anything. Go ahead, Marty. Go ahead. Give us a little something. <clears throat> Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house <laughs> not a creature was stirring. Not What's even going on? <laughs> what? See, he's so good. He even improvised on the spot. He's just... <laughs> he, he sounds like a southern Morgan Freeman. He really he really What's does. Going he on? Can, whatever, whatever he going wants. On? He can read anything. Children were nestled all snug in their beds. There it is, there it is. While Andy was running around with dinner in his head. <laughs> the moon or the breast of the new fallen snow looked just like Todd's forehead on any That's given day. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucked up. What, what am I reading here? On a Christmas when I'm alone, come there are ropes of the ladder. I sprung to my bed. <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> Away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. Whatever the hell I threw up. So what is know, going on? What the hell? What is, he was re- it was it that glorious? I mean, Th- you know, round of applause. Sash. Round round of applause. That was great. Uh, you know? Okay, there we go. Hey, there we go. There you go, John. Okay, John if you want Ryan. more, you got to join Patreon. I'm just Todd. Saying. Do you want? Do you want? Do you want to read a uh, bedtime story to anybody? I don't. I'm not eating shit. I'm drinking whiskey. Let's go. Come on. What are we? Doing? Oh, <laughs> oh, hard and screw. Hold on. Spicy. Hold on. Oh. Hold on. Oh, Look at this. Oh. All right, I'll fresh, join you. Fresh Whatever. Crack, right? Oh, fresh crack. I'll go get mine though. Oh, Andy, you have the Claremont. I don't have the. I have the Frankfurt. I don't oh, have the what Claremont. Is what a shame. What is it? Do do? No, I'll drink. No, I'll drink. Because I'll drink. That was my birthday present, and you just opened it. Oh shit! You're sleeping in the doghouse. Yeah. Rut row. Hey, cheers, Kate. T-, T. Rob and Katie. No, she's she's not mad. She's she's scurrying. 
I'm getting fresh blends because I'm not putting that in a dirty blend. No, but either. he said it was my birthday present and he just cracked it. So I'm not the one that got to go oh, pop. You mean you didn't get new shoes for your birthday? The same pair from last year? Yeah. Dude, that, that's that's, shoes. that's, that's what everybody home. wants. Everybody wants whiskey, right? No, oh, yeah. So unless you're, unless right, you're tough, then you get a new pair of kicks every year, which are nice. Oh, there you go, buddy. Frankfurt. I have the Frankfurt. You have Frankfurt? I like, I like yours better than mine, but that's okay. <laughs> Andy has a Claremont, and I, I like them. I love them a lot. It's more, okay if mine's on movie quality. Yeah, I got the, uh, I got <laughs> the uh, boss one down there. That's good, Andy. That's good. You got me on that one. Yeah, it's okay yeah. It's okay if it's mine's movie quality. <laughs> <laughs> I've had this for months, though. I, I, I yeah, let's hey, do it. Let's do it. Gary, that's good beanie, for shoulder pain. That's a beanie, 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 beanie. All right. So, Brian, Brian, we were asking everybody tonight. You showed us some of your worst whiskey. What are your favorite pours of twenty four so far? Like, what have you gotten that your favorite besides that? Alex, the Bowman. What do you got? Well, those are those are the ones I actually bought because I blew my budget on those four bottles, so I got to wait for a little bit. And then uh, the Turks gave me this one, and I'm loving Ooh. it when we met up at a Whiskey Rose house. Oh, oh yeah. 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 That's great. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Yeah, there I you love go. that one. And then at Cheech's meetup, <laughs> Mojo stopped in one of the local stores in St. Augustine and uh, had bought one of these. And since oh, Private grew, Barrel. Nice. He sent it home to me. It's called brown sugar, and it tastes like you just melted brown sugar and and and. Wow. Nice. It. No, Very nice. nice. So those are three. Where's that? I want to go now. I'm in St. Augustine. I want to go grab myself a bottle. It's the uh, shit. What store was it? Uh, mm -hmm. Kate and uh, what do you guys think of that Claremont? You, you, have you gotten into it a little bit? What do you think? That is beautiful pour. It is definitely nice. It's very beamy beam, so I get that heavy peanut nut that you always get from yep. it. Yep, yep, um, yep. I, like that. I told you don't like not that? to get mad, but I like my Define Batch better. Oh, no! All right, well, hey. Okay. It's good. Hey, hey, one's only $80 more than the other. So I know, matter. that's a problem. <laughs> but well, Ryan, what do you think of it? I think you, you think, I think you like the... Um... Oh, there it is. The little blend, the O4 blend, which is a, oh. a, a, a comprised of ten percent Claremont, sixty percent Boston, and thirty percent Frankfurt. So I think she's gonna like my Boston more than she likes the Claremont. I really like rye heat, and this isn't carrying any of those spicy rye. Yeah, notes. it really I mean, doesn't. It's, it's very, very sweet, very sweet, peanut, very vanilla. Like for seventeen years old, it's, it's very approachable. I want a little more drying when I finish, like that it almost sucks the moisture out of my mouth. Or just taste like chocolate. It. I mean, those are the two things I need. Dark yeah. Good. <laughs> All right. All right. No worries with that. All right. Well, we got to get Kate on a, a rye pick for sure. Oh, hey, there you go, man. I'm really picky. Well, hopefully you like it. hopefully you like our still Austin rye and Corbin Cash rye because they're glorious. So if you don't like them, then we're screwed. They are. I, mean, I joined the Patreon different. just because you said still Austin Rye pick, and I was like, "Hang on, I'm not on this one yet." So <laughs> yeah, I love it. So, uh, you, I, I can, I can give you a guarantee you won't be disappointed. It's fantastic. You will not be disappointed. Really, really at good. All. I don't think. Yeah, put the name of the store and the address in private it. chat. Exactly, Kate. What? What's? Oh, what happened? No, sorry. Private I'll put chat. the name of the store and the address if they still oh, nice. have me for that. Perfect. Oh, nice. Yes. That's a by where that's in sure, Northern Andy. Virginia. No, no, St. Augustine. Oh, St. Augustine. Oh, 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 that's where Andy's. Oh, that's right. That, okay, Andy, figure that out. Where that's here in Florida because that's where the teacher nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, speaking of which, uh, Todrick, I gotta get up at yes. four o'clock to the airport tomorrow. I'm gonna probably <laughs> let you <laughs> keep rolling here for a little bit because I gotta, of course, you are, Andy. Go ahead, get out of here. Next week we'll 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 have a little celebration. We'll have some fun. Andy's um, birthday is next week. Andy turns fifty-four. Can you believe it? Wow. Fifty-four. Can you fifty-four? Can you wow. believe? It? First of I'm all, tur I'm turning forty. You, you got me on that one, there, Andy. Well, I'm younger. Than, I'm younger than Todd, who just turned. Doesn't 48. look like. 
and uh, he failed kindergarten twice before I jumped into kindergarten with him. So not, that's how old I am. Absolutely so that's, not. That's, not. He, he, he could not do the scissors, the safety scissors. He kept failing that. <laughs> So for two years, they held him back. I just proved um, that yeah. I could. I, I failed second I grade. No I, couldn't, I couldn't spell a name right. It's, it's fun. <laughs> it's, it's, it's Marty, did you, Marty didn't finish grade school, did you, Marty? You didn't even finish grade school. No, I had to go to work. I had to go to the <laughs> distillery and start working. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Andrew, get out of here. We'll I, see miss, you. I miss you, yeah. Marty. Hey, love y'all. Thank you, especially right. you, Marty. God, look at that. Hey, hey, hey Andy, let me say something. Yeah. I, I, your, your Patreon, your eight, your Patreon post today about Firehouse, and, mm -hmm. and yeah, that that was spot on, dude. Hold on, Andy. Hold on, Andy. Hold because, on, Andy. because I, I, I said I said during my stream that I've been listening to Hair Nation and stuff all week on XM, and they've not really done much that they should have. For firehouse, they didn't say anything about that. No, uh, if they, they have, I wasn't in the truck. But, no, they just they said he passed. Andy, what's your favorite firehouse song? My favorite firehouse song, probably yeah. all she wrote. Yeah. Okay, here it is. All right, there you go. That's Play them out for that one. Plan it out. Play it out. Cheers, Andy. Love y'all. Thank you. See you guys. Bye. Bye. All right, that's for Andy. That's for Andy. Now we can have fun. Everybody wants to come up. They, let's go. Uh, the uh, dad's gone. Let's have fun. No, I'm just joking. Um, <laughs> dad's gone. <laughs> anyway, I that when I'm drinking a 17 year old beam. I know. I, I know. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> anyway, anyway um, we won't stay much longer. Um, Marty, what do you got coming on the channel this week? What do you got? Anything? Any big reviews coming out? Yeah, I've got uh, the review coming out for the Fortuna. Coming oh, out. Yeah. Thursday, that'll be out Thursday or Friday. I haven't checked the day yet. New, is, that, new, is that the new release? What is that? What is that? That's the new release. That's the yeah, new all right. Release. It's, a, it's a, a rare character bottle. Okay. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. I've got all that right. coming, and then I hope to have Kate on next Tuesday. <laughs> That's cute, man. I well, just, I, you know, it happens, man. It happens, yeah. You, know, you were ready. You, yeah, you're so, ready. You're, now you're really ready. I now am you're ready. absolutely ready to rock now with some Irish whiskey. So, all right, there you go. Uh, um, and then the pick this summer. Other than that, that's that's pretty station. So you got that? You're lined up, ready to go. Mm -hmm. That's gonna happen, guys. Marty's Marty's got a cool Patreon too. Let's go. Let's get let's get support yeah, over there. That's who's gonna get it first, and there's gonna be no limit. And this thing Ooh. is a hitter. Yeah, you sent us that. What you sent is that the bottle you sent us a sample of? Yeah, that, yeah. that thing is fantastic. If you like rye whiskey, Kate, uh, I don't know where you went, but that that would be one you would like. I think. There you go. That, what's good. that? That's the uh, the Connolly. That one. That's oh, in like you did a pig in Connolly. Yeah, he's going to. So you're from you're you're from North Carolina. I'm in Raleigh. Yeah. Okay. That's very exciting. Yeah. Yeah. The it's single barrel good. for JP Connolly. AP Connolly. And it's right. Yeah. It's right. I was yeah. If you like leather and tobacco, you're gonna like this. I'm in. Um, oh, she's in. Like yeah. There you go. I like leather. So. <laughs> yep. So that's what's happening. Mm. So you better figure out how to sign up. That's All right. Very good. I can't right now. We're using my phone. All right. Well, what we'll do is um, I'm going to end the stream, and we can hang out for a little bit longer and, and, and chat. Uh, anybody else have anything to say? <laughs> is it fun? No. Good to see. We've got the still lost and cash drink ride coming. Ju Christian said it was being bottled this week. We'll see. <laughs> um, and then we talked to Jay, shared poor. It probably won't be ready for until the beginning of May. So first or second week of May, that'll be ready. And then we're waiting for – this is between all of us, guys, Patreon members. We're waiting for that uh, bourbon to hit eight years June, like, 14th. It's Neither of those can be bottled until June 14th. We're getting eight mm -hmm. years that to bottle it. So that will very quickly move after that. So they're small. So it won't take long to dump it, barrel, bottle it, and they'll ship it across the shared port. So I'm thinking beginning of July for that. That's my hope. The carbon cash? Corbin Cash, yeah. We're gotcha. waiting. We're they're not going to dump the rye until so the rye will actually get two more months of in that nice heat. God knows what it'll do. I don't know what it's going to do to the yield, but he's telling us hey. there's three hundred bottles total between the two. Around that, three hundred bottles between the two. 
That's where it sounds about right. So I don't, I don't think that's bad for eight, uh, nine and eight years. So that, we're, we're happy with that. And you you know, that's, that's that. Um, we're working on a couple other things. We wanted to do a get together with Patreon members, possibly in Baltimore, but we don't know if that's going to happen because, well, I can't say much more than that. We're trying to do something this summer. I don't know if people want to get together. We're trying to do something this summer, but I don't know if it's going to happen because of where we wanted to have happen. We're doing one here in San Antonio. <laughs> well, that's in two weeks. <laughs> uh, in three weeks. Mark, I'm actually, t- I'm actually in downtown. I'm, I'm like right on the river walk. I don't know how far you are from that. That's where I'm at the Hyatt yeah. Regency. Yeah, it's pretty far probably. No, it's but not that bad. I might have off Saturday 40 minutes. Night. I'll let you know. I, I got to work until like six each day and I have to go to dinner meetings, but I think I'm off on Saturday. I'll let you know. I'll let okay. you know. You I got my it. number. Yes, for sure. Anything else, guys? Anybody want to talk? Anybody? Uh, Brian? Uh, Anthony? I'm glad it's coming up because this weekend yeah. I'm busy. I got a F, uh, what is it? MotoGP coming into town. Oh, really? So, oh, okay. Yeah, I'll be busy parking cars and stuff across the street from oh, nice. Circuit of the Americas for that. So. So you had, oh, oh, they're not there at Circuit Americas. They're because they're also NASCAR's at Texas Motor Speedway, I think, this week, Same, aren't they? Oh, well, yeah. Well, NASCAR had already been here. Right. They were at Coda already. But you, yeah. Texas, they're at Texas Motor Speedway, which is not in Austin. It's somewhere no. out. Where, where's Texas Motor uh, Speedway? Is it Dallas? Dallas? Dallas, yeah. Yeah, got it. All right. Brian, anything going on? You good? Yeah. I'm good. Everything good? All right, guys. Well, yeah. That's it. We, we will uh, we'll see you next week for Andy. It, it's Andy's birthday next week. What can we do for Andy's birthday next week that would really screw him up? Oh, we should Play all some of the music that he just cry. loves. Everybody send him a sample. <laughs> of what? <laughs> of what? Shitty whiskey? Yeah, absolutely. Like, I've got that Make fucking, sure you uh, mislabel it. I've got that Mid- medical Tabasco back here. Yeah, everybody send Fire, me, fire send on the way to Andy. Andy. Gotcha. Yeah, send it to me. And we'll drink, have him drink. Guys, they sent it. you have to drink it, Andy, and he'll drink shitty whiskey all night. That'd be fun. Fire, that would actually be fire, fire oh. birthday Tuesday. That would be funny. If we get that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fire. Carl, yes. <laughs> Peanut out the X bottles, please. That's right. Yeah, well, if we ever do a Mega Park pick, that will be the name of it. I think we ought um, to do it. Get them in the mail tomorrow. Next get them. Hey, you know my address. If you don't email me, I'll, uh, we can do yep. this. And let's get shitty whiskey for Andy. Shitty yep. whiskey for Andy. That's perfect. God, that's, that's genius. All right, guys. We'll see you next week for Andy's birthday. Thanks for hanging out. Cheers. Cheers. Peace, love whiskey, y'all.